Welcome friends, welcome to the Beaver Dam, we're going to have a damn good time today. Uh, at least I hope so, it's been a long uh, long week. Welcome Castiel, welcome Death Deep. Um, make sure you guys are getting those General Kenobis in for those that come in. Welcome Nova. Ugh. Kind of out of it a little bit today, I've been non-stop working and doing all kinds of stuff. For the last little while. In fact, I haven't even been able to get to my uh, free-to-play account um, in the last 24 hours. So, Ryan, Ryan, <laughs> I read your last name and your first name, and my brain just Ryan. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm going insane. How are you? <laughs> uh, hey Jay, welcome, welcome. Mick Air, welcome. Members, get us some of those General Kenobis up in the chat. I haven't even checked this guy's account. That's how busy I've been. Okay, I can handle a profanity at five star. Let's check his other capital ships. I can take down an executor. And he doesn't have a Leviathan. So I think we're good on the ship side. Three star, most of the proving grounds today. Heck yeah, Black Knight. That's awesome to hear. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll pull it up on stream uh, here right now just because you're bringing it up. I plan on making some stuff. So I'm going to be doing some testing tonight. And then tomorrow I plan on posting a video for all the ones that can that Ray can do. Um, yeah, Carter Brown, absolutely. Go to the Discord. There's a description in the... Uh, in the there's a link in the description. You follow that, it'll take you to the Discord. We have a section to put in for. So we go there first. Uh, and then we go on to people and chat if we have time. So... But yeah, no, uh, I got someone in here. We'll disable that so that way I can show you guys. I uh, just got a message from someone today in our Discord who uh, very helpfully has sent me a video of how to do the um, TIE Interceptor uh, Proving Grounds with SLKR. It's not something that a lot of people are going to have offhand, but, you know, uh, it'll be at least something, right? So... But yeah, it looks like he's using the, the crew lead uh, with Watt Tambor and Malik. So if you have a Watt Tambor and a Malik, this could be a very good option for you guys. I know not, not a lot of people are going to have that, but, you know, both not bad characters to Relic whatsoever. So not really going to be a problem for you to do. You do the tie with Ray? Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be posting a video of doing the tie with Ray as soon as I have time to test it tonight and then... Tomorrow I'll record all of the different ones um, that I can, probably using my buddy's account again, just like last time. So not only will it be less good mods, uh, so it'll be a little bit more like close to what people have normally, uh, because I tend to pay attention to mods a little bit more than most people. <clears throat> um, but then also he has access to two of the Proving Grounds that I finished, which is Cat and Maul. And so it'll allow me to show off more of them. Unfortunately, I don't have access to the Razor Crest node on any accounts that I know of or friends that I have. So, Castiel, a lot of us don't for the Malgus Proving Grounds. I use Sith Eternal personally, um, but I've heard you can do it if you beef up the crap out of your SLKR team. You might be able to do it, but... It kind of requires a Relic Malik at least, and then a couple other things to really get that one super solid. Uh, so, okay, so we have JMK, we have Jabba, we have Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, JML, Lord Vader, Sith Eternal. So just kind of depending on how many GLs he put on defense will just kind of depend on how much we struggle. So... <clears throat> Getting your TIE Interceptor tomorrow? Dude, once you have the TIE Interceptor, that is the fleet. Like, you don't even need a fully leveled up TIE Interceptor. That is, like, the key to that fleet being amazing. Now your job is to get yourself a Palpmobile and to uh, continue onwards towards your Scythe. And then you'll be unstoppable. And don't forget, Nova, if you get that Palpmobile uh, with that what you have already, that Palpmobile allows you to be able to counter... Um, kind of profundity. Sorry, my brain's a little off right now. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll we'll get things under control. Barry, mostly uh, it's going to be 
speaking of gak and chill, it's just going to be a more relaxed stream. I'm not going to be trying to push it real hard. We might do a little hemming and hawing between each battle. You know, having some fun talking to you guys. If you have questions, you will take it a second and answer your questions. Just trying not to speedrun or anything because I just want to relax. I The last three days, I've literally been... Go to work, get home, you have 10 minutes to shower. Okay, now you gotta get to this, now you have to go to this event, now you have to be here. Okay, now you have to finish your homework. And so, like, I literally have had zero time to relax in the last three days. So this is my chance to relax, and I'm gonna choose to relax with you guys, so. <clears throat> Trey with Han Malak was the, what I did today, mm. Interesting. I'd love to, Barry, what, what was your, shoot me a DM what your comp is. I want to see what you use and see if I can pull that off because that sounds interesting. <clears throat> CLS, Han, Chewy, C3PO, and Cholo. Oh, I've heard that one about that one, Jay. Yeah, yeah. Ray, Quill, IG-11, Hondo, Dash. I wish I had Hondo so that way I could use him, but we will get, we're getting him on our free to play right now. Or are you referring to Holdo? Black Knight. Um, how do you unlock the better general? I actually don't know. Uh, beat the general conflict in Clash and Kamino. Okay. Um, so that's uh, the beating the gas event, uh, Cameron. I believe that is. We, we'll double check. But I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, that's what the Clash on Camino event is. Yep, Clash on Camino. So you, you beat the last tier of the gas event to get that. Oh, so you'll have it soon, Cameron. <clears throat> hey, Teddy. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Let's jump in and take a look at what this guy has. We kind of know what he has in his roster now. Now we just got to see what he actually put for defenses. Oh. Please, for the love of all this holy, if any of you have Jabba, stop doing this. You need a Relic 7 Bosch and a Relic 7 Kersant at least. I highly suggest a full Relic 8 team, uh, but I know a lot of people can't afford that. At least Relic 7, both of them. It is so helpful to this team. It makes it so much harder to take it down with SLKR. And just makes it so much more of a troublesome team. <clears throat> yeah, I, that Cameron Cox, that's exactly what I used. Is I used a Gear 12. Um, I used Gear 12, Droid Deca, Gear 12, Saj Ventress, and then Relic 5 of all the rest of them. Which, honestly, if you just Relic 5 the B1, that's really all you really need. Because it's the damage on the team. But it definitely is a nice thing to relic the other three. because Or the other two. Because it's just great for a Grievous team. Okay, this is the first time in a long time that we have seen Sith Eternal on defense. I think the last time I faced a Sith Eternal on defense was probably in Chromium. You're relking B1. Yeah, B1, honestly, is going to be a huge help. Huge for that. <laughs> Welcome, Madness. <laughs> uh, it was one of the first animes I ever watched. One of the first. It was the first anime I ever watched. I watched the first two episodes of My Hero Academia back in 2020, I think. And that was the first time. I uh, know it was earlier than that. It would have been 2019. And that was the first time I'd watched uh, anime. Do I think Trey or Sour Killer could have taken out down a JMK without Cat? I think there's a strong possibility of either one beating that 100%. Uh, what is the C team? I didn't even look. I just saw her and or her him and Malik. And I was like, okay, so that means I can't just straight Wampa. I have to kill off uh, Malak at least. Okay, it's it's a pretty normal comp. Like, this is a really common comp way back when. Um, back before Savage, Omi, and Treya Omi came out. This was, this, like, the most common comp you'd see with Sith Eternal. Uh, let's see how this guy's mods are. 
Yeah. It's it's so the reason that you do that is because if you don't put that team comp with Sith Eternal, uh, it makes it so that way I can Wampa solo the team. And so this prevents a Wampa solo. Uh, this does not prevent an SLKR solo, but it does prevent a Wampa solo. And so that's the point of doing this, and that's why people started doing it, was just to prevent the Wampa. It, it definitely is a waste. It's a waste to put Sith Eternal on defense in general. Heck yeah, Nova. That's what I like to hear. Uh, anyways, I was going to check his, uh, his mods. 304, so that's 374. So we can do our Watt Tambor trick if we want to try Imperial Trooper that. Ooh, Eric, you're going to struggle, dude. I got bumped up to Kyber 2, and it was painful. <laughs> nice, Black Knight. I just, dude, for once in my life, I pulled a 7.5 million out of the credit heist every time I get 5 or 4. And this time I got 7.5. I was like, oh my gosh. It's a Saturnalia miracle. Okay, so we're going to have to Wampa that because I don't really like giving any other answer to an Iden Versio because Iden Versio is a pain in the butt. And I don't want to deal with it. And so that will immediately use our Wampa. Um... Mostly we got to figure out what's in the back wall. Hey ADP, welcome, welcome Barry. That's rough. I I still don't use Ray on offense much at all. My guild had me using Ray on offense for a couple territory wars and I just had no idea how to use her. Just every time, you know, we'd go into a new wall and be like, "Oh, look GLs. I'm going to go look up the counters for these with Ray because I have no idea how this is supposed to work." Mm. I look a little blurry. Interesting. I wonder if the... It's just not focusing very well. Yeah, like that's super clear. But then it comes back to here and it's blurry. Hmm. Uh, I can actually fix that real quick. That made it a whole lot worse. There we go. Okay. That should have fixed it. Am I less blurry, guys? Hey, Bombardment, welcome. Zarevan, welcome, welcome. Hey, Ashton Foster, also welcome. Do I look better now? Is it less blurry? Ray beats Malgus in Preview Grounds. I have heard that. I've heard some people succeed with it. I have not seen what the comp is or anything. Um, it's kind of the same thing as I've heard people say SLKR can beat it, and I've still have never seen a team comp or anyone tell me about it, so. Heck yeah, Zarevan, that's what I love to hear. Congratulations, dude, that is awesome. SLKR is still, to this day, one of my favorite characters in this game. <clears throat> like, he's, I don't think it'll ever change, I think he'll always stay in my top three Galactic Legends. Because, like, he's so versatile, he's so good by himself. And, like, his team is just basically there to keep him alive a little longer, so. Sounds good. I use a Gear 6 uh, 7-star Watt right now, Cameron, so you're not going to go wrong with that. <clears throat> I, uh... I, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'll be getting Bane on Monday, so that, that is, like, I've had a long week, it's been rough, but I'm so excited because tomorrow we get to jump right in, I'll probably do a stream, I know not a lot of you will be around for it most likely, but I'll do a stream of unlocking Bane um, at right when it pops at noon. And I'll do a little bit of Bane testing, not a ton, just a little bit here or there, uh, to give kind of you guys a taste of it while we're waiting for Arnold to finish up his Grand Arena. Um, because honestly, I usually watch his testing videos and that kind of thing. But I am excited to use him myself. I have everything saved up to get him up to Relic 7 immediately. Um, not quite Relic 8. We'd have to save up a little bit more, but we do have exactly enough to get him up to Relic 7 the moment we unlock him. So, we're going to have some fun times. Agreed, Madness. Agreed. 
Uh, nasty balls, welcome, welcome. Um, Madness, I feel like the difficulty of Proving Grounds should have been the same as the GL event that we have currently. Um, the one that just recently started with the new GL currency. I think that should have been the level of difficulty for Proving Grounds, in my opinion. But... We can compare notes on Bane. Exactly, ADP. Uh, I also have enough saved up. We'll uh, we'll show you guys this, and then we'll hop right into the Sith Eternal battle first, because we need to see what's on the back wall, basically. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of a character I can check this on. Who's a character that I have leveled up? Eighth Brother. Perfect. Um... Yeah, so I have enough Omicron saved up for all of his Omicrons. Uh, this guy has to have a Zeta, right? Yeah, and then I have enough for every single Zeta that he has. As well as enough to get an Omicron on Ben, because I'll be unlocking Ben tomorrow as well. So. Yes, you can do the Ray without the ult. You can also do SLKRs without his ult. You can also do Sith Eternals without the ult. I have a video on all three of them on my channel. You can go check. And it'll run you through each of those cheese balls. Uh, many Tuscans, how do I counter them? I would probably counter them with Ghast, mostly because of the flavor of him killing all the Tuscan Raiders. Um, but also, it's just a great counter to, for Tuscans. Uh, I haven't run into many of them so far, and those that I have run into are not nearly strong enough for me to actually worry about. So, the Maul Proving Grounds tier, I think CLS can do it. I think that's the most common use is CLS. Uh, also, welcome to the chat, peep Jesus. With or without Omi for Tuscans, it makes a big difference. Uh, you can still kill it with gas ADP, but yeah, that is a good question. Um, Teddy, are you facing one with Omi or not Omi? Yeah, it, early on it's very frustrating. I'm very happy that Ray and SLKR can do a lot. If that wasn't true, I think people would be a lot more upset about the difficulty. Yep, Ray can beat the Maltier. SLKR can beat the Maltier. That's fair, Eric. That's fair. Yeah, I've seen Padme do the uh, Mall Proving Grounds event. No Omicron? Yeah, that uh, that should change it quite a bit. Let me... Uh, rem uh, I don't really want to... But all Relic and Zetas... I don't really want to go back again. Uh, just because I want to hop into our first battle at least. Uh, but we'll, we'll take a look at this Omicron real quick. Just to see... I can't actually remember how much it changes things. I just know it's kind of a big piece of the team. Is it the Tuscan Chief of Novacron? Is that the 5v5 one? No, that's the 3v3 one. Who has the 5v5 one? Is it Tuscan Warrior? No. Is it Warrior or Raider? It's, that's Territory Wars. Raider is the one that's... Isn't Raider also 3v3? It was the first 3v3 Omicron that came out. Yeah, well, in 3v3. Yeah. So, I don't think there's a 5v5 uh, one on here. So, yeah. And 3v3, it's a pain, but you can do things like Gidme and that kind of stuff. Um, so, Padme, uh, Gideon, and then any Galactic Republic support... But with a five v five, just it's difficult, but it just requires you know something like gas, something with you're looking for teams that are low turn meter, but do damage basically. And so gas is a great example where only one of them has an ability that really gains turn meter, um, and so gas is a great example. But I'd suggest just going to swigo.gg, kind of seeing what's on there. Uh, if you want me to look at the insights at some point during the stream, let me know. I can look at the insights since I pay for it. But <clears throat> anyways, let's uh let's hop in. I'm thinking that we just spend Sith Eternal right here and just do a Sith Eternal Watt Tambor on it. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about the Tuscan Raiders, so I, I wouldn't have been able to tell you if the Omis were 3v3 or 5v5. I knew that 
Two of them had 3v3 Omicrons, but I wasn't sure if there was any of them that had five. Uh, honestly, if, if you're talking about the Malak event only bombardment, as long as you have a relic uh, Revan, you should be fine with the other ones not reliced. But both of them are not going to be bad because both of them are work usable with JML or any kind of Jedi team. And so, not a bad thing. Andy Nachos, welcome, welcome. But yeah, only bombardment. As long as you have a relic Revan, you're fine. But if you relic Dark Side Bastila and Darth Revan, you're not going to ever suffer from that. If you relic Bastila and Joe Lee on the other tier, you're not going to ever have a problem with that because they're both great characters. Oh, I'm telling you right now, bombardment, that, that tier is a nightmare. Doing it at gear 12 with all gear 12 without the uh, um, Relic 5 Jedi Knight Revan, it took me 25 attempts before I finally got it right. Uh, with a Relic 5 Jedi Knight Revan, you just need some solid offense mods because he is the damage dealer, and then you need to make sure you're paying attention to the trying to hit those uh, armor shreds as much as possible. But I refused, and I still refuse to this day, to put any of the Zetas on the Old Republic except for Jedi Knight Revan and for Bastila, uh, or Darkseid Bastila and Darth Revan. Like, all the other ones, I was like, nope, I refuse. I'm putting them at gear 12, and I'm calling it good. Because gear is a lot easier to get than Zetas. Roll 3 Jedi Knight Revan, you should be able to still do it. You're going to be missing out on some damage as well as some health. And uh, Malak can deal some serious damage at the end to uh, Revan as he starts to, you know, take turns. Make sure you are avoiding all AoEs throughout the entire thing except for Zalbar's AoE. Hey, Caleb Zweiger, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's get our honorary Sith in here. Okay, we got our Wat Tambor. Another. Hold on. Ah, okay. Sweet. Uh, sorry, I gotta get our music in here, guys. We gotta get our tunes. Uh, and we are using Sith Eternal today. So, what <laughs> what song are we gonna use for Sith Eternal? Because we have like seventy seven songs for this guy. Like, this is the only guy that I'm like I never have to worry about having a song. He has like seventeen songs. Yeah, the, this will be our last Sith Eternal Watt battle you'll probably ever see for a long time. Um, we may shift it a bit and occasionally use Watt Tambor with Sith Eternal um, and use Bane on his own team with maybe Savage or something like that. But honestly, this is gonna basically going to be the end of Sith Eternal and Watt Tambor. So, <clears throat> we could do putting together a crew. Yeah, do you want that one, Barry? I'm down for it. Uh, yes, Dakota Honaker. If you look above my head, you can see our a jar, 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 jar. It's our tip jar, jar, for uh, getting ourselves a relic nine jar, jar day one. And so we are working towards it as much as I can with the funds that I have as a poor college student. But anything anyone can offer is always going to help. See <clears throat> uh, what may be better for mirror matches though, because he dies more quickly. It's true, it's true. Uh, Unlimited Power by Isaac. Is that the name of it? I'm pretty sure the, the one by Isaac is... Oh no, it is called Unlimited Power. I don't think I've used that one. Yeah, I'm down to use that one, Zids. I actually don't think I've played this one yet, and I've had it in my library for a while. Let's do it. Yeah, that's right. I, yeah, I haven't used this one in a while. Or, I haven't used it at all. I haven't listened to it in a while. Let's do it. <laughs> Boss Nass solo. I wish I could afford right now to go for uh, Boss Nass. Uh, yeah, we want that one. I always have to check because my brain just doesn't work very well. Uh, we'll connect you. Um, we want the most turns, so I guess we'll mark down Sith Eternal. But the Techno Crew, we'll switch to the Tech, this will probably be a long battle. So if we, uh, 
if we end up not hitting the uh, end of the battle by the time the song finishes, we'll switch songs. And then, of course, we will get that song in at some point just for you, Barry. Don't worry. Gosh dang it, I wanted that taunt still up. Yeah, so we need that, uh, his protection completely gone. Uh, let's get some protection back. Okay, we're almost there. One of them just needs to take one more turn. So we're gonna save our ult for a second. Save it for a second more, let him take one more turn, and there we go. Oof. I don't like that. Okay. Here we go, guys. Okay, Malak's gone. Time to keep working. Okay, we're gonna mark down you. And we'll mark down you to reduce your damage. Okay, sick. Keep working, my friend. We'll get there eventually. One more turn, maybe two. There it is. Big shot. Just for you, Barry. Big shot. Gangster. Gotta end, oh yeah. Yeah, you gotta honor the end of Watt Tambor, you're not wrong. I mean, we'll still see our boy Watt. Our boy Watt is going to be permanently moved over to help out Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I am currently working on... Ooh, that was my chance. Dang, I could have marked him up. That would have made life so much easier. I mean, either way, we're going to win this. It's just how long it's going to take to win. Uh, but yeah, we're going to permanently move him over to SLKR. As soon as I finish my Inquisitors, we're going to finish out uh, SLKR's team with the Daka zombie uh, armor and Watt Chambor. So we will have a supremely stacked Kylo Ren. Get it? Supremely stacked? Uh, Linked also uh, increases his mastery every time they use an ability and reduces the damage of the people that are linked by 30%. And so overall it'll help the team in general. But yeah. Uh, then Watt Tambor will finally be with Trench, where Big Capital shot. Games wants him. Hear me out though, Bane Gangster. plus Darth Vader Big might shot. be common if it slaps hard Big enough. Shot. You're not wrong, Barry. Put I think together. there's, there's a lot of, Big shot. Big shot. there's a lot of opportunity that people don't take into account. I can't tell you how many times, uh, we, me and Arnold and Nooch have gotten the question in our streams where people are like, hey, uh, do you think Bane will be good with anyone else besides Sith Eternal? Is he worth going for? I'm like, dude, he's going to be absolutely banger with Savage. I think that Vader Solo is going to be insane. I think it's going to be insane with any leftover Sith you had. I was doing some testing with even some, like, uh, you know, Darth Sidious and, uh, Oh, what was the other one I was testing? Marauder. And I was doing so much, dude. So much. So, like, yeah, I think we're not going to have a problem finding Bane a home. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. Bane Savage sounds amazing. Um, I'm thinking that we just do gas here. I, I don't like doing gas there, though. But I don't really have another good answer. I honestly hate that team so much with all my heart. But yeah, Watt Tambor, he will always have a home. I don't think there will ever be a point where we're struggling to find a home for him. Before I had um, Sith Eternal, I'd use him with Kylo Ren, um, just the OG Kylo. And I would use that to help me solo teams. And it was really, really good. Like, he'll always have plug-and-play viability in any team. You can put him with your Imperial Troopers, and it increases your Imperial Troopers' speed significantly. Uh, 
uh, bombardment, I usually would say gray if you bought the light speed bundles. C is super nice. Uh, do you have executor yet? I don't recall what you have in your account, bombardment. You're missing the Ray Scavenger one. Yeah, I mean, Sith Eternal is still going to be farther away for you. Yeah, so I would still go for Ray personally. Uh, let's check if there's another budget way of doing this besides, you know, wasting some of our biggest stuff. But unfortunately, I think this is one of those teams where we're kind of kind of have to just, you know, get absolutely stomped by it. Yeah, using him with Vader for Geos is great. Uh, but yeah, let's let's hop into some quick stuff. Use Troopers last gak for this. With uh, Relic Savage, it's very hard to get Imperial Troopers to work on a Treya. Without Savage, Treya works great with uh, Imperial Troopers. So we'll go Gak Insight. Uh, we're still in the first week, so we won't have anything from this season. But, but, um. Oh, these are attacking units. We want uh, defending units. Uh, we are looking for... Did I click the right one? Yes, I did. Okay, we, we got Mommy Treya. Nihilus, Scion, Savage, Talon. Gas has a 60% win rate. Uh, let's take away attacking GLs and don't show cleanups. Perfect. CLS has a 4% win rate. We're going to use that. Okay, so Starkiller also has a 60% win rate. Imperial Troopers has a 40% win rate. That's actually surprisingly good. Darth Revan has a 52% win rate. Dude, Zori, it's insane. Boss Nastolo, genius. I'll, yep, we even have a song for that. Like, absolutely. Yeah, so it looks like it's a 45% win rate with my version of Imperial Troopers that I have. Um, problem is the how much turn meter gets fed into them. Grand Inquisitor has the highest win rate? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> Grand Inquisitor has the highest win rate with 1.45%. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, lore accurate. Oh, gosh. Afra has a 92%. Oh, that's with the Datacron, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, I think gas is our best bet in this battle. And then we can clean it up with Darth Revan if we need to. Not that I want to have a cleanup, but wouldn't be bad. I would like to get this. I think this would be our best bet in general, but I don't have a Gidme that's fast enough. <clears throat> My, uh, I need some solid relic levels to get this started. This is on defense. Okay. Yeah, Darth Revan is an expensive thing. T oh, did Grand Inquisitor leave it cleanable? I doubt it. Uh, let's see. Uh, 138 battles. Uh, okay, loss. That is a Relic 3 Savage, and the rest of them are not even relic and he failed with a Relic 8 Inquisitor. Yeah, this is depressing. Oh, that is depressing. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump right in. <laughs> uh, can Bounty Hunters do any improving Crown Tears? I'm actually not sure, uh, BB. I don't actually have a fully relic bounty hunter team that I use because I don't have my Ara Singh relic or my uh, my Zam relic. They're on my list to relic, but I just haven't gotten to them yet. 
Um, I mean, for Proving Grounds, you need at least Relic 3, Cameron. So, you, the Relic 5, um, you know, is going to be great and all that, but anything that's under Relic 3, you can't use for Proving Grounds, so. Why does it shut down Grand Inquisitor so well? So, basically, with, uh, oh my gosh, I just realized, guys. Why didn't anyone point this out? She doesn't have her Omicron. <laughs> that makes this team so much easier. <laughs> I think Gas will have no problems with this. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me quick explain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Teddy. I was like looking at this team. I was about to explain what her Omicron did and then her Omicron isn't there. So Treya's Omicron basically makes it so they get bonus protection every time they receive a debuff. And the Inquisitor team just pumps like 70 debuffs to the team. And so they can never get through their protection. And so I use my Gear 12 Treya team against Grand Inquisitor every time I see him. Like, it's, it's one of the easiest battles in the game. <laughs> Try Grand Inquisitor because I don't have Grand Inquisitor yet. Let me look at my Inquisitorius right now. Inquisitors. These are my Inquisitors right now. Although he's gear 12 currently, but that was before, or that was after lock in. But yeah, Grand Inquisitor's next on my list, guys, unfortunately, because I need him for my guild. So, no, I didn't ADP. That makes life so much easier. Can I actually. I've actually never tried in GAC Insights. Can I actually click that? Is that a thing that I can click? Is no Omicrons? Ah. Brute. Uh, okay, hold on. Exclude Lord of Betrayal. Yeah, gas just becomes a 97% win rate. Uh, let's get rid of attacking GLs. Uh, Imperial Troopers becomes an 80% win rate. Uh, let's make sure these have Savage in them at least. Okay, yeah. So 97%, 97%. This opens us up a ton. Imperial Troopers has a much higher chance of winning. Although I would like to save my Imperial Troopers in case I got a two-shot of GL somewhere. Yeah, so much, much, much more comfortable. I'm fine with this now. Okay. Let's just throw our gas at it and call it a day. Grand Inquisitor. Mm. I can check. <laughs> Does Grand Inquisitor still fail? Looks like no one's really tried it against this. Uh, let's check attacking lead... Uh, we're looking for Grand Inquisitor. Uh, it raises the win percentage from 1% to 38%, so it's not bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not wrong, Barry. <laughs> okay. Uh, or you, that's right, we're in 5v5. I can just pull teams. We basically have to one-shot everything on this field to be able to try to get ourselves a win. Um, unfortunately, we still don't have an extra Datacron for this team, but I promise we are getting one. We already have one ready to go, and so we'll have it for next week of Grand Arena. We just won't have it for today. And so we have a Protection Cron, and I'm really excited to use it against Malgus from here on out. Okay. Uh, so we have our five, and we're just going to hop in. Let's get our song going. <laughs> no. I've gotten so close, Barry, so many times, but they keep beating me out on banner efficiency. <clears throat> Nasty Balls, thank you for the four ninety nine for the jar, jar, jar. <laughs> I should show up on screen soon. Uh, and since you guys are in this stream, I will give you a little sneak peek. Uh, only you guys are able to see this. I'm not going to put it on the channel at all until it's officially done. Um, but I will give you guys a sneak peek real quick.
this is going to be the uh, what our new symbol looks like whenever someone donates. So we have a beaver dam with spilling crystals out. So I'm very excited for that. <clears throat> you need a two one. I've got my one two. Ah, sorry, Barry. I tried. <laughs> w sneak peek. Yep, there's there's cortisol popping up. Okay, and there's the nasty balls. Uh, also, cortisol, I love it. Just saying, I absolutely love it. Um, so cortisol, that's just jumped into chat. He is our artist. Uh, he's the one that did our little symbols next to our uh, members' names and all of that kind of stuff. So he is awesome. Thanks, cortisol. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Um, hey, welcome, welcome, Tara. Welcome, you, dude. Saving most of the GLs for attacking Kyber when there are so many counters to them. It's not worth it to see. Yeah. Fair, fair ADP. That's kind of the reason that uh, I, uh, I'm i trying to get a better defense, specifically for ships. I really want the profundity, um, just because... I need something on defense, just so that way I can compete with these guys that are taking all of them on offense. Uh, anyways, let's get our get our song going and get this battle going. Yeah, all the new uh, stuff. Um, sure. uh, let's throw on you. We want to hit Savage basically as much as possible. Try and get as many buffs fed into this team as we can. So if we call him to assist, we should get yeah, the turret to attack twice, knocking off his buffs twice, and giving him a new set of buffs both times. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Dang, that's actually unfortunate, honestly. Because we're about to get, uh, yeah, that right there. That was extremely close on you. Uh, no, bonus 200 meter does not count as buffs, but every time you hit him, he gets new sets of buffs. Um, so let's target you. It's fine though. We should have no problems. Ooh, maybe maybe we'll have problems. Looks like we're gonna hit sack. Oh, or no sack. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Loving this. Okay. Yep. Just finish him off. Uh, go for you first, and okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I hate the fact. Some of the crons really upset me, honestly. <laughs> uh, what team you recommend for Sith Rook Part One? Got all light speeds and hyper drive bundle fresh. Um, fresh account. So the one that we just used, Gas, can solo the entire Part One of the Sith Triumvirate raid. But if you get SLKR, SLKR can do the entire Sith Triumvirate raid by himself. Uh, I used to do it every single time uh, the Sith Triumvirate Raid would come around. I would bring in my SLKR with his First Order team at Relic 7. Uh, the rest of the team is just the base Relic levels for, you know, the uh, um, the event itself. And I would clear the entire Sith Triumvirate Raid. So if you're looking for a good team, just work on your uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, get him some solid speed, and then it's just disgusting. 
Uh, do I have an updated Zeta Zeta video? Um, do you might mean what do you mean by Zeta video? Just like what Zetas uh, you should get for a Lightspeed bundle? Because I can do one of just like all the Lightspeed bundles with the Zetas ranked. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad thing. I'm going to be recording a lot of videos this week just because I don't want to fall nearly as behind as this last week I did with how busy I got. <clears throat> uh, e even without uh, that, if you just do an SLKR with Hux, so SLKR lead... Hux, Fu, Crew, and First Order Stormtrooper, you can actually do the whole raid that way as well, ADP. So. You're so Zeta poor. Yeah, I, I mean, I can I can definitely whip something up this week. But yeah, it's, yeah. If you have a Relic 9 SLKR, he can solo it without a team. Uh, someone did that quite a while ago, and it made me laugh quite a bit. That was like two years ago when that video came out. Okay, so here's our next problem team. I got Relic 8 SLKR with three Zetas and no ult. I mean, it's a solid SLKR, honestly. Uh, it's not going to be able to, you know, do the heroic Sith raid by itself, but it's going to be great. Uh, but yeah, if you're a fresh account, uh, for t the part one, it's really rough to have anything. I know that in general in the raids, a really fun team is Crew with, a uh, um, Crew, OG Kylo, Phasma, uh, and I think I did First Order Officer, and then your fifth is Panda, because Panda's damage ramps as long as he doesn't kill anyone. Uh, by ramping up his health, and so you can get him actually dealing some solid damage in the raids, because you just make sure he doesn't kill any of the adds, and he just goes for the boss each time he takes a turn, or each time he assists, and he'll just keep ramping his damage, and it's kind of gross, so. Uh, CLS wouldn't be a bad option here, we, okay, hold on, CLS is going to be the easiest option. I was going to say, CLS, you know, it's kind of iffy at times, I forgot we have the Kron. CLS is going to be the easiest thing possible. Light side, you. Uh, Panda is the executioner. It's because he's black and white, but yeah, the executioner. <laughs> uh, troopers with Vader could do well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I didn't have Troopers and uh, Vader back when I was doing the Sith Triumvirate raid. Um, okay, so we want this Kron... And this battle should be literally the easiest thing in the world. Um, I don't remember Juhani's kit very well, though. Does she also affect... Okay. When Juhani falls below 100%, she gains 5% protection. Uh, okay. So she doesn't taunt herself on anything anyone else is doing unless she's with Old Republic kind of stuff. Unless she hits her ability, which she probably won't ever hit her ability. Um, should we try to just gun down, uh, Starkiller turn one? Because usually you gun down, uh, Mara Jade and take her out first. But with this Datacron, I think we might be able to just go full in on Starkiller and kill him. Let's get our song going. Okay, there's our song. Go for Mara still? Okay. Okay, where's... Oh, she's pre-taunts. Good to know. I missed the pre-taunt, apparently. Oh, that's right. She's a Jedi tank, so she pre-taunts. Okay. Um, let's try to do some damage to you. Um, let's do this. Okay, take another turn. 
Um, yeah, just finish her off. Um, who needs it? Come on, who needs it? Okay, you need it. Okay. Should have zero problems now. Uh, honestly, let's just hit the... Oh, okay, no blind there. Uh, get rid of your turn meter. Um, try to go for him. Finish him off. Done. <laughs> yeah, fair. Any, any of the ones in red. Okay, uh, IDK. Let's see. So you were looking for... I'm trying to remember which tier you're looking for. Would that be tier 4? Tier 3. Uh, 221 speed looks like the speed that I have written down here. Um, and then honestly, you really did. I, I was like doing the, this event and testing and like, honestly, as long as you just have, a, like, I did it with this. Obviously, this is garbage mods right here. Um, I did it with this. I I did it with this. Like, you don't need the best mods. This tier isn't bad, but anything over 221 speed, if you want everyone to take some solid turns at the beginning, that would be my suggestion. So. Uh, and then, always keep in mind with this tier... Um, Focus down stormtroopers. Keep the stormtroopers stunned. Stormtroopers have an event ability in these uh, in these events where whenever they use an ability that attacks, so whenever they shoot, obviously, uh, they will uh, put an expose on one of your guys that they're shooting at. And so you want to keep them under stun as much as you can. Keep them ability block or not ability block, but remove their turn meter. Keep them stunned and kill them off as fast as possible. So focus down the stormtroopers first. <clears throat> specifically stormtroopers nothing else like not snow troopers or anything like that i'm talking just stormtroopers so fair enough idk yeah you can definitely put more on them this is just kind of like what i had on hand at the moment and i was testing i was like oh i can do it with these i'm not going to move mods around then i'm just going to be like yeah these are the mods that i used and it, honestly anything over this point the one that you really have to remod for is tier six this one is the nightmare tier so <clears throat> Let's jump right back into our grand arena Okay. So we got a Phasma left. No Omicron. So what is the most budget counter that we can come up with for this team? Because this is a garbage team, if I'm being honest. Yes, but we want to use Wampa for Aiden up north. You're not wrong, though. It is definitely Wampa fodder. <laughs> yes, Keller and Beck's on defense right now. Yeah, Wampa's definitely overkill. Like, we could Savage this easy. Um, I don't know. Maybe... Geonosians? This is a team that I really don't use. 
if we use Gar Saxon Imperial Super Commando, that takes away from our mall team. And we want to keep him just in case that we have a JMK on the back wall. So, Jedi Knight Luke could probably solo it, honestly. 214 speed. Uh, I beat that out with my Geos. Who else could have high speed? First Order Officer and Kylo Ren are the only other two that I usually see high speed on. Okay, 251. So 251 is the highest speed currently on their team. Malak Solo should work, yeah. Especially without the Omicron, it becomes a lot less scary. That should be fine. But then we break up our Darth Revan team. Uh, if this works, this is going to be the most budget-friendly thing we can do. Yeah, 261. I haven't modded my Geos in literally forever. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this should be fine. Uh, what do we have for this team? I, I don't even know what we'd use for this team. Um, communications disruption. I guess this one. Communications disruption. Corruption can mean only one thing. 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 A communications disruption. Corruption can mean only one. One thing. Thing. One thing. One thing. Invasion. Um. I think if we just focus Phasma out, it takes away a lot of the viability of this team. Get rid of all their uh, advantage. Go for the Yeet Stick. Um, let's call on you because you do the most damage. Perfect. Out. Um, let's keep you from pumping turn meter to the team. The negotiation was the negotiation. You were right about one thing, Master. Invasion was invasion. The negotiation was invasion. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and clear off those buffs. Let's try and get first order officer out. Yeah, sure. Get that stagger or dodge the stagger. That works too. Finish him off. Um, okay, he's the damage dealer here at the moment. Yeet stick him. Okay, we're doing good. Communications disruption. Um. Communications disruption. Corruption can mean only one thing. Yeah, no, I don't have, like, any, uh, Mandalorians. Uh, Juan. One thing. One thing. Invasion. And even then, those Mandalorians are gonna go to Bo-Katan as soon as I get her, because she's on my list to get this year. I knew this was going to hurt. Okay, you can only basic. As long as we can keep a mobility block, we'll be fine. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Defensive SLKR, Jedi Knight, Revan, Jedi Knight, Luke against it, Starkiller against it, anything that can kill off... Um, if you can take in like a CLS and kill off Hux and maybe a couple of the others, then you can bring in Imperial Troopers or Star Killer and all kinds of stuff and take it out. It's really just you need to be able to take out the first couple of people and then you have basically zero problems. So um, I would typically use Star Killer, Imperial Troopers, CLS, that kind of stuff. Dang, dang, that's a Malgus right there. Hmm. Uh, we used our gas already. What are we going to use against the Malgus? It's not a good lineup for Malgus at all. Okay. So that's going to be Bounty Hunters. Although this might have to be Bounty Hunters. Maul? Do you think Maul can take that out? I'd like to use Maul there. But Maul doesn't have a high win rate against Malgus. It's usually like 10%. But I don't know about that specific... Uh, I need SLKR for job up north. Yeah, with that crap of a team, I might be able to get bounty hunters to do good work on him. So let's let's take a look. Okay, Darth Malgus. Um, and then um, what was the team again? It was. Maul. It was Maul Marauder. I 
I don't have OG bow is gear nine. Uh, Bando is used on several other teams, my scoundrels as well as my Ray at the moment. So it would give me two great teams, but uh, once I get Bane, I might consider it because then I can throw uh, Watt Tambor on that team and make it real gross. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, Grand Inquisitor. It's, yeah, just bounty hunters taking out Malgus and Sidious would be amazing. Uh, okay, so it's Sidious, Assassin, Marauder. Wild that this is actually something I people are doing. Uh, okay, so gas. Yeah, bounty hunters. But then what do we use for Adrad is the problem. I do have that. Jedi Knight Revan can take down Adrad. Maul on Adrad. That yeah, that sounds like it'll work easy. Okay, yeah, we can do Maul here. Is he one of those guys that believes the tanks should be like insanely slow? Yeah, it looks like it. Jabba, we can take out with SLKR. We still have our SLKR lying around. Uh, I don't have the no revive Datacron. I do have the uh, bonus turn Datacron right now. So. Okay, so if we can Bounty Hunter this and we can Maul this, we'll be fine. Let's, let's Maul this first, just so that way we can see if it works. Yeah, so whenever they fall below 100% health, they'll get a bonus turn. So if they focus down Maul, we should get a turn to absolutely decimate them. Um, they're going to take the first set of turns. We'll see how this goes. Let's get our song going. Uh, I will get to your question in a sec, Nick. Who are you? We got our song, we gotta get hyped. We gotta manifest this, guys. I need all of you to manifest it. This needs to work. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work, guys. <laughs> um, we'll just hop right in, honestly. Every choice you have made has led you to this. I see the path of one needs one last lesson. Revenge. I must have revenge. I was hoping for the fucking movie, but that's fine. Yeah, this is a tough one. Oh no, dude, I was so close to losing that one. Should probably. Oh. Dang, I should have backed out. You're so right. Um, do we have this team and I just completely forgot about it? Or did I put it on defense? I think this one's on defense. Yeah, okay, this one's on defense. I was going to say, because Adrad gets absolutely just autoed by, uh, um, <laughs> by Rex, because basically how it works is uh, every time an ally gets a debuff, they, uh, they take turn meter, and because every time you hit an ally on the Adrad team, you get an expose. It's just a continuous turn meter train. It's like hilarious. Legs. Uh, interested in me recording the Reva proving against you with my Relic 3 Crex Phoenix team? Yes, Griffin, I would absolutely love to see that. If you could DM me the video or get me the video somehow. <laughs> Nick, so I got Trey Savage, Gas, and a Star Killer team to take care of him. You just get. I have an SLKR, a CLS, and a Treya of my own, which should go where? Um, honestly, probably I would do Treya versus Gas, SLKR versus Tre uh, Treya, and then um, CLS versus Starkiller. I could Vader solo the GL Geos, but I don't have much confidence. I haven't have been having really great. 
RNG when it comes to Vader against Geos when it's Relic Geos. Mm, that's rough, you know. Uh, we can come back and take a look at this team a little later. That's not the right leader. That'd be hilarious if I did that. Thrawn Royal Guard? Yeah, with Thrawn and Royal Guard, I'd be able to do it, but I don't have Royal Guard. I do have Thrawn, though. I could definitely give him Thrawn. Um, I can see who else I can give him. I, I don't know what else I have lying around. Do I have a video on Proving Grounds? I have an SLKR video, so you can look and see how to do every single SLKR video uh, or SLKR uh, tier that he can do. You can go check that out. I have a video I posted it last month. This month I'll be making one for Ray, so keep an eye out for that. Captain Han does need a rework, yes. Treya's kit was handcrafted to exterminate bugs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, short troopers on defense with Iden Versio. Uh. Can no old SLKR do much improving grounds? Uh, he could probably do a couple tiers, just like how Ray can, but he's not nearly as viable. A lot of them require the uh, the ult. I'm trying to think of what ones. Like, you might be able to do Trench. You most likely could do Trench. You most likely could do Ben. Uh, and you could most likely do Scythe. I think those are the three that you would have the easiest time doing with no ult. Okay. Um... I got rolled up to 23 with crit chance, crit damage, but she's G6. Sounds good, IDK. You said gear 7, I was like, wait, what? You haven't finished her yet. I was like, you can't do the event then. Okay. Had an aneurysm. Yeah, only 5 likes and 40 people in chat. That hurts my soul, guys. Why would you do this to me? I'm gonna go cry. Sorry. Um... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know about Cat. I don't. I haven't tested much on Cat. I'll be honest. When I recorded the video last month, that was my first time doing Cat since they changed it and then changed it back. Uh, and so I went into that fully blind. And I was like, well, this is how you used to do it. I'm assuming it's the same thing. And then it worked while I was recording. I was like, perfect. I don't have to re-record that. <laughs> I can't like the video twice, Jake. Uh, thanks, Kim. I really appreciate it. Uh, does this work? Yes, Kyle. Yes, it does. <clears throat> Weird Empire to three star the Phoenix one. Dude, the Phoenix one's a pain, even with SLKR. That's probably the most nuanced one with SLKR out of all of them. Uh, let's get This Is The Way in here for these guys. Just because I don't hear this song enough, and I, I really like this song. Krex can do the tie interceptor. Yeah, someone was mentioning that. I would like to Heck yeah, the all the way up to 25. Um, unfortunate, but it'll work. Okay. I would like to see the baby. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of trouble here for a second, but it's fine. Okay, all we need is one more turn on Mando. I would like to see the baby. She's got the high ground. Special. Um, let's go for them all. Throw out a little bit more ther thermies. Crit. Sweet. Get some more turn meter in our veins. And we'll focus on Assassin because he, we, we can just, yeah. Having zero problems. Come on, full banners. I 
Let's go for those full banners. I would like to see the baby. Yes, Barry, you are correct. That is why you give him an actually good team, is that you don't want him to be able to bounty hunter. <clears throat> Okay. Ooh, gosh. I'm terrified. We're two away from my all-time record for streaming. If we get 45 people, I might have to do another feat reveal like I did last time we hit 45 people. Why are you using his other Sith with... Empire with C? Uh, yeah, he's using it with C. That is correct. Uh, what kind of stuff can Malgus beat on offense? Uh, I actually don't know. I'm sure he can beat JML, but besides that, I don't actually know what he would uh, be able to beat. Yeah, just Mal Malak or Darth Revan immediately would make it so it can't be Bounty hunter <laughs> viewer count drops to four <laughs> yeah so last time i had this many viewers at the same time someone i was at 40 and someone was like hey so feet reveal at 45 and i was like sure why not so have fun scrubbing through my videos trying to find my foot reveal <laughs> he can beat ray that's interesting reva yep he can beat malikos yep also another great one is malikos <clears throat> Use Malgus to beat Reva. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> okay, so we have a crap bounty hunter team. Crap. I mean, it'll be a fast contract bounty hunter team, but we're at 45. Oh no. I mean, if you guys want me to pull out them toes, I will. They're very sexy. Uh, I can probably be cast considering how sketchy the battle is. Yeah, fair. Okay, so we got Wampa here. We still have a Savage uh, with Treya as a team. We have a Darth Revan. We have a General Grievous. This is a really easy General Grievous team. I, I, I hope I don't run into a, D, a DTMG anytime soon. Advocat, welcome, welcome. You've come just in time for our foot reveal. <laughs> uh, do we have a member that can give Advocat a General Kenobi? <clears throat> Omicron on pilot? Uh, yeah, I've got the Omicron on pilot, but it's on defense right now. <laughs> this stream's about to get demonetized. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. What, what is this? Is this the uh, damage immunity? No. Thank you, Castiel, Nova, ADP, Burakuka, all of you. You're great. Uh, okay, so this is just the foot reveal. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it's this one that I have lying around. Okay, and we do have our handy dandy, uh, let's see, which one of these is going to be better? This one has a higher deflection, and this one has higher crit damage, I think? And it's about the same crit damage. We'll use this one, because I don't think we're going to have an Empire team to use with this. So, yeah, it should be an easy W. With a, with a Doubtcron, I don't think I'll have any problems whatsoever. This is super easy. Like, with this Doubt Kron, you can take down the uh, Bosch Kron really easily, so. <laughs> Stick to the game and show us cat. Uh, oh, come on. You don't think I'm, I'm good? Oh, dude, we're going to lose, guys. We don't have a song going. My bad. Hold on. Let's get our new song going, you know? Why not? Um, our damn original song, for those of you who haven't heard it. What if I told you that the Republic was now under Song's freaking great. I love this song. Okay, let's get right into it. 
<laughs> oh, I forgot to change the speeds on that. I need to fix that here soon. Um, honestly, let's go basic for now. I, I'm going to trust you can get another turn. Any attack made by the rebels against this station okay. would be a useless gesture. This station is now the ultimate. Did I trust incorrectly? Come on, buddy, get another turn. Technological terror you constructed. The ability to destroy a Yeah, there he goes. It's fine. I'll deal with it. Power of the force. Don't try to frighten us with your source words. Um, Killer. Okay, this whole team just fell apart. Um, let's just finish off you. Or stun you, that works too. Stun you, or not stun you. Okay. <laughs> um, funny, Barry. Yeah, it's not that it's slower, it's the fact that this team gives speed down. And, uh, or removes turn me. I can't remember what the mechanic is, but it makes it so you have to have your, uh, Hux and your First Order officers slightly different right now with, like, the stuff that they have running on this specific team comp. And so it's something that I just haven't bothered to go in and fix, um, because usually it works for most team comps, uh, for Java to have just the one speed faster for, a uh, First Order officer. But obviously this guy is slightly different. He uses his team comp he chose. Yeah, I think it's 25 speed, 25% uh, speed less. If you are correct, I believe. Come on, you tell him before he hits ultimate. Give me. We'll just hit. Right Get those banners. I, I I genuinely don't know, Zarevan. I don't know how it works, but it always makes Hux go first. That's happened a couple times to me uh, in that battle, and it always affects Hux, but not First Order Officer. Freaking love that song. Big thanks again to Noxious Nexus for uh, working with me on making that. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know, Advocat. I think you guys would love an OnlyFans, you know? <laughs> there you go. We hit 50 viewers. I'm making an OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I see. Makes sense. Barry. So I guess another way you could do that is if you keep it the same way, except you uh, switch out the speed mods on uh, First Order Officer for just all tenacity mods. Which I might do one day. For her what, Madness? I'm not sure what you were trying to say right there, but okay. Uh, okay, so this is obviously Wampa. We don't want to, you know, mess around with this. That's right, we still have a Jedi Knight Revan team. We still have a Star Killer team. We still got a lot to work with. Oh, a hearse. I... Mmm. That, mmm. I don't know if I like that. Okay. Hop into this battle. Should be no problem. Which Wongo do we want? First person to say which Wongo. One, two, or three. It's the, the one of their choice. Which Wongo? Hurry. Two it is. They want a Wongo. I would certainly like to. I really want to go for it, but we need to ramp. This is going to be a longer battle, I th me thinks. Yeah. 
I love all the damage they take just from getting damage over time. It's great. Okay, okay. <laughs> IDK over here saying Wonga Wonga 6. Genius. Oh yeah, Stormtrooper definitely does. Thickness doesn't mean anything if you have 24 damage over time, though. <laughs> oh gosh. getting close. This is actually kind of worrying. Pump some turn meter. Keep ramping. Okay, there's one of them. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And there we go. Stormtrooper is out. Pump a little, more, a little bit more turn meter. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Derek. <laughs> or a buff furry. <laughs> I love the idea that Wampa's just some dude in a fursuit. <laughs> Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Turned my microwave on. Went back by my... Back to my seat at the kitchen table. Felt the breeze thought I was going nuts. Tell me he just kicked on the vents right behind me. Nice. <laughs> I'm sure it's been done. Oh gosh. My foot finder? No, but I have been told some of my viewers took my last foot reveal and put it on foot finder. I don't know if I believe them though. <clears throat> God. Uh, I have. So, side tangent. Never mind. I can't talk about this side tangent. I'm. Yeah, that one's too much of a personal story. Never mind. Uh, yeah. I'll try to confirm these rumors. Out of pure selflessness, I will sacrifice myself by going through Feet Finder for hours at a time, trying to make sure that your honor is not tainted by your feet being on there. <laughs> Thank you, Zarevan. Your chivalry is noted. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Uh, this isn't a Bosk lead team. Uh, was there an Omicron on that exam? No, there's not an Omicron on the exam. Okay, uh, let's take a look. 283. Uh, our sing doesn't give any additional speed, right? It's been a while since I've read her thing, but I'm pretty sure the only additional speed comes from the Omicron if you have it. So, I should be faster than this team. I think Dengar can be fast, can't he? 208? Yeah. What about your Zam? Garbage. Okay. <laughs> the stream really has something afoot. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think you really nailed it. <laughs> Asking for a friend, Advocat. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm thinking Darth Revan here. Um, we want to do as much banners as we can. I think this team can survive long enough for us to pull off a... Pull it out of the sky. So that's what I'm thinking right now. 
Oh, hold up. Wait a gosh darn minute. Um, yeah, so we got so much to work with right now. Okay, so we have a, we have an Imperial Trooper team. So we'll use Imperial Troopers here. And then here we can use our EP Mara with Star Killer. And then we'll just find something for Geos in the back. Most likely what we'll do is we'll do a full banner win with Savage, uh, Treya. <laughs> Reckless Y. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Donovan, <laughs> thank you so much for the $5 contributing to the a jar, 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 jar. <laughs> but I saw the notification pop up, and I immediately thought it was going to be a donation for saying, like, show me those feet or something like that. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Thank you so much for the $5. <laughs> Uh, yes, when you shake the tip Jar Jar, it clinks. It's a Jar, it Jar Jar clinks. Um, so I've been looking into this thing. I, I need to check the assets and see if it works. But if it works, I think it'll be hilarious. Uh, also, uh, we'll wait for it to pop up, but it's a cool, fun little thing. But there's an asset that I can get where it makes a jar on my screen. Just how like this tip jar is up there where the, the line, I can make an actual jar that gets added to over time and so i want to see if i can change the assets so instead of adding like coins to it it's adding little heads of jar jar in there and if i can get that working i'm totally going to be using that from here on out instead of this bar that we have because i think that would be hilarious and then i can shake the jar and jar jar clinks <laughs> just research and there we go with donovan maze's donation thank you so much we just hit a hundred dollars towards our relic nine jar jar good job guys we are getting there we need to hit 500 for the minimum that it's supposed to cost according to the math that we've been looking at uh and so i'll be putting in as much as i can so you know i'll probably match that hundred and that's about all i can afford anytime soon because i'm a college student but hey we're getting there dude guys thank you so much so far let's keep going um add red kyber crystals to the ajar jar 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 <laughs> the ajar jar 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 there we go uh, <laughs> yeah i could definitely do kyber crystals uh for the for for darth jar jar so that way it would be a a jar being filled with darth kyber crystals for our darth jar jar and it'll be in a jar 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 <clears throat> Uh, okay, so back to what we were talking about. This stream is jarring. <laughs> uh, should I be getting SLKR Furious Onslaught Zeta or Zori Zeta first? I can never get enough Zetas. So SLKR's Furious Onslaught. Hold on, I gotta read what SLKR's Furious Onslaught is off the top of my head. I think that's the, uh, the AoE Siphon, which adds double siphon on stunned enemies is that right it's joe for 100 <laughs> uh yeah furious onslaught double siphon mastery amount if the target was stunned i love that i know that offhand because i've had it for so long yes the jar jar jar's jar is one tenth of the way full and once it hits 100 percent full it'll no longer be a jar it will still be a jar but it won't be a jar because it'll be closed <laughs> um, but yeah, so either that one or which one on Zeta, um, or uh, what one on Zeta, which one on Zori, uh, if you're looking to get Ray soon, you're going to need the one for Spice Runner skills on Zori, but technically to get that team started for the resistance team, it's not actually Zori Zeta you need first, you need Finn Zeta for his leadership ability, uh, E-Dude, so... Uh, you first get his Zeta on Finn, and then I would suggest Spice Runner skills on Zori. So, if you are not having trouble with the ultimate, uh, battle, if you're having trouble with the ultimate battle for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, drop it on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. If you're not struggling on that, and you want another team, drop it on the Finn lead. Okay, let's jump right back in. 
I finished one of my water bottles. Gotta get to my second. Can I just say how good it is to be with you guys? Yeah, it's been a long week. No problem, me, dude. <clears throat> okay, job is gone. Uh, so it was EP Mara on this one, and then Imperial Troopers here. So let's go pull it out of the sky, and then we can see kind of what they have in the back. I'm, I'm not going to bother selecting these guys. Mixed. Uh, I'm sure we have something for these guys. Yeah, a Doubtcron. I don't think we'll need a Doubtcron, but we'll use a Doubtcron. Uh, let's let's get our song going. We got to pull it out of the sky, guys. Oh, speaking of Sky Guy, can I just say how much I absolutely hated Ahsoka in Season 1 of Clone Wars? I just, I cannot express to you, even as a child, how much I absolutely hated her. <laughs> her calling Anakin Sky Guy made me so upset <laughs> that I was, like, shaking as a kid. <laughs> Maybe it's different for other people, but it took me a, quite a few seasons to get okay with Ahsoka. And now she's, I love her as a character, but like at the, at the beginning, Dave Filoni did a great job of making her someone that just pisses you off so bad. Uh, pull it out of the sky. Hashtag character growth. Exactly. Dang, I mean, still solid speed. I mean, I'll take a 17 speed over most other mods people have, so. You were weak when I found you. Now your hatred has become your strength. I love this song. It's one of my favorites the Arnolds have ever done. You still have much to learn. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're gonna want to stun you. you we're gonna want to get a shock on Cara Dune so she can't get her thingy majig. Um, let's just go all in on Cara Dune first. Uh, let's get a set of stuns out. Um, no buffs to get rid of. So let's just hit her with this. Make sure she uh, can't really do anything. Slow all of them down. Um, let's go for you next. You don't give turn meter to the team unless you are taunting, so we're good for now. Hey, Anakin Lava Crawler, welcome, welcome. Do we got another member that can give him a General Kenobi? I know he gave him one to himself, but someone else has got to oblige. Give him something good to look forward to when he comes to the chat. Thank you, Burakuka. You are awesome, my friend. You take Cal off the Ray team? I built Cal originally for this team, and I will be taking Cal off of the Ray team starting this, or start, taking it off Starkiller starting this next week. And so it's on my list to get my um, Visus Mar upgraded. So originally I built him for her uh, pronouns. I originally built him to help Starkiller. And then not to help Ray, but then now that I'm getting Ben, I'm switching Cal to Ray and bringing Vesus into this team. I just don't have Vesus upgraded, so. He was meant to look out the rings. Stick Ray for the win. I mean, I'd rather have a Gear Twelve, <laughs> Gear Twelve Vesus Mar over a Stick Ray any day, <laughs> honestly. Eric, I have opinions about the live action Ahsoka. And if you want to hear them, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. <laughs> uh, yeah, because of Krons, it's, you're right, Barry. But just the Krons I have right now don't fit my Starkiller very well. I think if the next set has a really good one, I'll swap them out. But, like, I don't think it's going to really affect the team too much. I'm ready. She threat... <laughs> Shreds through inspiration. That actually is a good point. And like, well, honestly, Vesis is not great against Ray because Vesis usually can't revive what happens to the Star Killer team with the Ray battle. 
Armor pen is nice. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Uh, I get Ben tomorrow, Teddy. So we'll see how long it takes me to level him up, but I get him tomorrow. Yeah, honestly, I think this next Kron set will probably have some SLKR uh, and Ray and Resistance kind of stuff. And the reason that I think it's going to be this next one is because we finally gotten to a point where everyone's starting to get SLKR, everyone's starting to get Ray. And the last time that we had SLKR Krons was the third set of Krons, I think. So it's been like a year and a half, two years since we last had a set of Krons that had to do with SLKR. So... <clears throat> yeah, Teddy, I, I have, like, basically this next couple of months, besides the fact that I got a farm Inquisitors and I just finished uh, Boba Fat Scion of Donuts, um, now that I have him finished and then once I finish Inquisitors, my entire, like, everything is going into making the best version of some of my teams, and so I'm going to have a Ben uh, Cal with Ray. And so that's going to be an absolute banger defense team, and then I'm getting my Night Sisters with... Uh, um, Watt Tambor and Armor for my uh, SLKR, and then it's full into my next projects, which at first was going to be JML into Profundity, but now it's looking more like Bo-Katan Mandalore into uh, Gungans. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then we'll come back to JML and Profundity a little later. <laughs> uh. Okay, Eric, we will talk. Uh, hold on one sec. How often do you actually get a revive from Visus? Not that often, honestly. <clears throat> I've seen it happen a couple times when I'm fighting against the team because I misplay, but like honestly, I don't usually see people actually get the uh, the revive off very often. Do I have Seer? I don't don't have Seer. I don't have anything go. I have a seven star Marin. I have a seven star Cal, but I don't have anything towards Seer or Saw Gerrera or Tarful. So I'm not anywhere close to having a Seer team. I also, I have 330 shards for Fulcrum, but I haven't bothered to upgrade her at all. Uh, this is going to be our Imperial Trooper food. Poopers. Um, yeah, I'm going to miss the Scoundrel Kron too. Uh, so my thoughts on Ahsoka in ahsoka so if you look at rebels rebels she's finished with episode three you know she had all the stuff that happened in clone wars and she left and went into hiding and started hiding herself being a jedi and that kind of thing um and it was hard on her trying to figure out who she was and to separate herself from the ideals of the jedi that she grew up with and all of that kinds of stuff um and she continued to deal with that type of stuff. And then she finally decided to start helping the resistance when the Inquisitor started hunting her down. Uh, and so she joined the rebellion, started working with uh, um, Organa and all of that kind of stuff. And we come up to rebels. And so she's still kind of struggling with who she is outside of the Jedi. Uh, and she started to grow up and started to figure it out for herself and finally reconciled kind of the things that she went through up to this point. And then Rebels happens and she finds out the one person who taught her everything is also the one of the greatest evils in the entire world and the thing that shattered everything in her life and made everything go to crap. And so this teacher who is simultaneously who taught her everything she knows is now also this ultimate evil. And so throughout the beginning of the show, uh, of Ahsoka, she is fresh off of that. Like, she still has, there's no separation from, like, Ahsoka season one and, like, the end of uh, Rebels. We haven't seen anything between those points, and that was the point they were making, is that she hasn't progressed since then. She's still in that spot of trying to figure out, you know, Vader and Anakin, and how to separate those two, or how to accept them as a thing. And so at the beginning of the show, I agree she was super just 
didn't feel like Ahsoka. She was kind of, you know, annoying. She was mean to Sabine. Um, and, like, it just didn't feel like Ahsoka in general. And then the episode with the World Between Worlds episode camp comes around, and the whole episode's lesson that's trying to teach Ahsoka is that she needs to accept the good and the evil. There are both parts in the world, and it's not necessarily a bad thing that they're both there. There is good and evil to everything. Learn the lessons that you can from the good and the evil. Learn to stay away from the evil. Learn to follow the good. Uh, and you could see that as she's battling with that with talking to Anakin and then if you look at the rest of the show she starts joking around more she starts becoming more understanding more like herself that she used to be and so I think it was it was a struggle at the beginning because it wasn't a focus on Ahsoka at the beginning of the Ahsoka show they were focusing more on what's happening around and it was kind of slow but that shift it was a fairly subtle shift but that shift I feel like was really good in that show and really helped develop Ahsoka's character <clears throat> anyway Huge side tangent. Um, but yeah. Uh, this is Kyber, Kim. Uh, we are in Kyber 3 right now. Dude, the Afrocron. I, I wish I had an Afro. Ahsoka in a show that exists. That's how I describe it. Yeah. I think, yeah. I struggled a lot with who she was in the first couple episodes. Because I was like, this just doesn't feel like Ahsoka. I don't know if the you know, the live action actors really got it down or anything, but them putting in that episode, I feel like was so perfectly put in to show why she's acting the way she is and help, uh, help her shift into who she should be, uh, for us, the crowd. So. Mm, interesting, Eric. Yeah. I mean, I think she does better than a lot of portrayals I've seen for a lot of other characters going to live action or film adaptations of things. Uh, but I can understand where you're coming from, and I felt the same way when she first showed up. Um, Do I prefer Bears, Beats, or Battlestar Galactica? I mean, which bear is best, Jack? <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, maybe, Kim. Uh, I mean, I'm always down to uh, face anyone, and I loved... Okay, my favorite stream we've done so far is the one where I got to go up against the opponent live. That was so much fun going back and forth. And so I'd love to see any of you in Kyber and be fighting with you. Thank you, Teddy. I'm trying my best, but, you know... This week has been really rough in Kyber. We've been doing pretty good in Kyber for a long time, but, you know, this week has just been really, really rough. Elon Thrawn. Yeah. I mean, fair. I wasn't a huge fan of how he looked, but also it has been... What is that? Two, five, ten, eleven years, I think, if I'm doing my math correctly. So it's been eleven years since we last saw Thrawn. And so it makes sense that he'd kind of get, you know, old as well as a beer belly and that kind of thing. But like, you know, you know, I, I do appreciate that they kept the voice actor because the voice actor has just such a chilling voice. And I, I would rather have a semi goofy look and the chilling voice and the chilling feel of the character than whatever we got of Grand Inquisitor and Kenobi, because that was atrocious. He was just had completely different feeling, completely different look. I hated the Grand Inquisitor and in Kenobi. And so I feel like this portrayal of Thrawn was much better, you know, film adaptation than Grand Inquisitor was. I'm sorry, Barry, okay? I'm trying. <clears throat> if you want to sponsor my Road to Kyber, I'd be happy to. Be there soon in Rhodium 3? Hey, Reckless, I plan on seeing you within the next year in Kyber. <clears throat> I don't know if I agree with that ADP. I think uh, it was really interesting to see Thrawn be so cautious around Force users, especially someone connected to Anakin Skywalker, because of his previous knowledge. So I feel like they did a good job of like giving him the cautiousness because every time that he loses is when he doesn't have information and he doesn't really have information on Ahsoka and doesn't really know much about Ahsoka. And so he's being super cautious through everything and it's what allows him to escape at the end. So I feel like 
I wouldn't call him stupid, but he is being super cautious. And so he, I'm guessing in the next season we'll see a lot more of his genius. And that's what I'm hoping for, at least. So, um, but yeah, I I don't know if I'd say he's stupid in each, stupider in each iteration. I think that Ray or Ray, sorry, Rebels was a dumbed down version of Thrawn, 100% compared to the books. Um, I'm actually listening through the Ascendancy uh, trilogy because I never read the third one, uh, and so I'm listening through that. I just finished the uh, new trilogy earlier. Uh, I haven't listened to the old or read the old trilogy in probably 10 years, but I need to go back and reread it. <clears throat> Heck yeah, Jack, I'd be down for that. I, yeah, cortisol, I heard about that. It, it hurt my soul. Dude, Kyber 2 is rough, Kyle. I, I was in Kyber 2 for a week, and I got stomped every single match. My new guild's 24-0 in Territory Wars. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, that's wild. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I mean, live Disney has tried again and again and again to do live action adaptations of all their stuff and they almost all of them have fallen flat there's only a couple that i've actually enjoyed so yeah 100 percent eric trade you matchups <laughs> i'm good i still haven't gone and seen the little mermaid at all like i just haven't bothered was the matter Yeah, they, you're right, Barry, and I do enjoy that Dave Filoni tried his best to prevent himself from just making him seem stupid, and they did a good job of that, you know, he would catch on to plans, you know, there was the whole thing where they're like, oh, we'll delete the planet from the, the files for him, and he's like, well, there's one planet missing, obviously that's the planet that they're going to be on and he was smart enough to figure things out and every time he gets foiled it's either due to force users which he doesn't have much experience with beyond his experiences with his own people and with um, Darth Vader and the Emperor and he doesn't have much experience with Darth Vader and the Emperor and his own people only have access to basically the abilities to look into the future with the force um, you know the warning signals they don't really have the ability to use any other parts of the force um, and so having that little thing is kind of just Dave Filoni did a good job of following that to some degree uh, and kind of straight staying true to the character as much as he could so I do appreciate what Dave Filoni did for the character even if it was a dumbed down version of him so <clears throat> yeah honestly yeah Yes, Barry. Obviously, it needs to be smart enough that it seems smart, but dumb enough that a kid watching Rebels could understand it. You are correct. And so I'm not saying that it was huge jumps and conclusions like you see in the books, but I am saying they did try to make it feel like the character were also obeying what they had to do for a kid's show. So. <clears throat> Dude, I absolutely love Andor. Andor is like peak Star Wars content for me. Anyways, let's let's get hyped. Let's get into this battle. We had our little side tangent about all the stuff about new Star Wars and how it's semi-okay. And I appreciate them trying more than they have in the last couple of years. Uh, we are looking for activate dark troopers. <laughs> it's it's only been 40 maybe 60 minutes 10 hours okay I'm confused we'll go for it but it's fine my imperial troopers for some reason are in the wrong order I'm so used to having dark trooper right here and so I almost you threw it on Gideon again. I've done one. that before. I'm trying to figure out what changed. Dark 
a vision to install <laughs> Arnold's D1. You can't be confused. Uh, I really hope that Jar Jar gets the confused debuff. I think that would be hilarious. Yeah. Exactly, Barry. These are the droids you're looking for. Yeah, it's, I love watching enemies just fall apart the dark, uh, for uh, Imperial Troopers. Arnold's Fulker moment. Was that his last stream? Because I haven't watched his last stream. I was really active in the stream before because I'm trying to set up a stream with him. But I didn't watch his last one because I didn't have time yesterday. Like, I literally... His stream the, before, I was at work the entire time I was listening to his stream. Like, I have not had time to do anything. So, he brought Executor and Profundity on offense. Okay. This has to have the full thing. What did we use on this guy last time? I'm trying to remember what fleets we have. That's right, I think we used Chimera last time on this fleet. So we'll do Chimera, Negotiator, and then whatever we have left. Um, I don't know if Rebels is actually better on this, uh, but usually we just use First Order. You have something I want. Today I learned Padme's kit had abilities named Design F Alliance from Bombat Jedi Clone Wars episode. I wouldn't be surprised. They've always been really, really good about flavor for characters. We made a short of the fulcrum moment. I'll have to go look. Oh yeah, he has to have a bomb bad general. 5% chance to insta-kill E dude? Okay. <laughs> hey Pyomai, welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, so negotiator should work there, no problem. <laughs> yeah, just whatever you need and you can kill it with. Also, welcome hotel, it's been a while. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let's uh let's give you guys an option real quick. Uh he well, I I can actually check right now. Uh, he did answer my super chat and said yes, he would be down to uh, do a collaboration together um, doing this stream that I suggested. Uh, but all I need to do is basically set it up with him, and that's the problem is he's not very good with talking over Discord. And so let me check to see if he's finally accepted my friend request yet. Um, I'm probably going to have to hop into a stream tomorrow and remind him. I've even got a couple of his moderators uh, trying to bug him and help me get in contact with him. But even his moderators struggle to get in contact with him. Nope, still hasn't, so I'll have, to, I'll have to message him on his next stream, see if I can get him to respond. But yeah, so keep that in mind, in the next couple of weeks we'll be having a stream. Uh, I've got so far got four different content creators, so Arnold as, as well as two other ones, um, to say yes. And then I've got one other one that's a maybe, which is Nooch, um, because he's not huge into doing other games besides galaxy of heroes but we're going to be doing a star wars battlefront with the battlefront collection stream where we just play as content creators and have some fun together so <clears throat> uh hotel congratulations dude that's awesome congratulations on getting married one day one day that'll happen to me but first i gotta figure out what a woman is and you know how to understand them or how to talk to them. 
I'll figure it out later. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Will crew first order type pilot Omi run over bounty hunters? Yeah, they probably could. Um, honestly, bounty hunters is not a good defensive team, but yeah, so uh, I'm always here for you. Thank you, Reckless, says the guy who got married and then I don't see him at all anymore. Um, but yeah, anyways, Battlefront 2, yeah. So with the new collection coming out, we're planning on having a fun stream. Uh, once I get in contact with everyone, specifically I say everyone, once I get in contact with Arnold and we start planning it, um, I have an idea for what date I want to do. Um, but I'm going to see if they want to also bring in some of you guys as viewers, um, who are like some of our members maybe, and bring you in as well. Uh, we'll see. It's, it'll be up to them really because, you know, I'm fine with it just being the five of us. It'll make us look good because, you know, the AI usually aren't too hard in Battlefront 2. For, you know, me as a person who played shooters all growing up, as well as for those of them who haven't played shooters a ton, they can still, you know, do good in the game. So, Bosk used to be a defense staple. That's crazy. Uh, we're still in the GAC right now playing. We're kind of taking something... Taking things just a bit slow, having some fun. It's been a long week. We're just trying to chillax and have some fun today. Um, so at this point, we're we're just kind of going through our fleets. We've got one team left and three fleets to beat. We're trying to get our best banners possible. <clears throat> um, so we're doing this for this fleet. Then we're doing Chimera with... No, we're doing Chimera for this fleet. We're doing Negotiator for Chimera. That's right. We don't want to do a Chimera Mirror match. Mm, last time we used this fleet against a Chimera, though, it didn't go very well. Maybe a Chimera Mirror match will be a good thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you definitely didn't see that. <laughs> Jack, I have no idea. Says the one with your name. Just saying. <laughs> uh, anyways. Yeah. So. Uh, Hera, Krex, and Sabine, and... So I do it in the order of Krex. Probably Krex, Kane, and Sabine, Hera would be the four Zetas in a row that I would get for that team so go Krex first then Hera you honestly you could even do Krex then uh, Krex Sabine or you could do Sabine Krex honestly I prefer Krex just using the Omicron too so Krex Sabine Kanan Hera or yeah basically do Hera last is what I'm trying to say Kanan can come second or come third but do Hera last Okay, um, so we have four teams to use. We have three fleets to beat. And this is basically whatever I have can finish this off. So these are the two fleets. I don't want to drop any battles. What is the best way to take these out? Um, hmm. Hey, Bombardment, welcome back. So, yeah, I think we're going to... This is the scariest one, so we'll do it first. Let's do our... Um, our Jedi here. <laughs> Barry, I'm finally catching up. I The the event they did where you got uh, Zetas for you know just spending energy if you had a 7-star character... I got so many Zetas out of that. I think I got four Zetas out of it. And I was like, sick. And that put me back on track. Because that basically finished my resistance. And so then now I've just been kind of just upgrading the teams that I currently have. And taking a break from major farms. So that way I can catch up. And it's been really nice. I feel like Grand Inquisitor should work. Shut up. Um, it's It's been going. We've been taking it slow, Bombardment. Just having some fun here and there. Um, so it's not so much that we're like really struggling or anything. We're just kind of just answering questions, having fun, hanging out. 
Oh, yeah. I, I definitely am getting a lot of Conquest characters and that kind of thing soon, and it's going to be rough. We almost forgot our song. How dare I? I'm so sorry, guys. Um, we'll do this one today. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hey, Ify, Hello welcome, there. welcome. Uh, yeah, we'll just hit that, since he didn't uh, use his one ability. Clear off that. Screw to you. Dang. Rough. Yeah, this is already being really rough. Keep working. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I've heard good things about Dune 2. Glad I pulled out this just to get some damage out in the field. Hello there. Hello there. Uh, get the offense up to you. Finish him off. Finish him off. Thank you. Okay, we're doing good. Okay. Uh, let's pull out you. Keep things going. I need one hit. Maybe two hits. Still, finished them off. Okay, we're doing good. We're still, we're still, we can make it out of this. It doesn't look like he has a TDC for some reason. Uh, let's give crit hit immunity to you. Okay, now all we need is that. So now we have a taunt. Um, too sick to go. That's that's sad. Um, I honestly don't remember what this guy's abilities do because of how unlikely it is that I use this guy. Uh, right into our next song. Big hit. Come on, so close. Finish him off. Okay, we're doing good, guys. Uh, we're just gonna hit basic. Still working on it. We're almost there. Hello there. He was so close. Oh, this is going to be easy. Okay, you're going to taunt for me. Okay, work through him. Uh, you're taunting. Keep going. Uh, sounds good, Jay. You have a great day. Oh, God, big hit. Solid hit, solid hit. Uh, give offense up to him. So close, come on. So close. That's it. We pulled that one out of our butt so hard. That was such a bad battle. Holy crap. But we first tried it. Oh, that was painful. Okay. You're not, you're not getting to finish your song. You You've almost failed on us. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, we'll just pull the fleet on who, what the relic order for Phoenix is. Um, oh, who would I relic if I was looking at a Phoenix team? If you're using to just use it, uh, like if that's just what you're looking for is usefulness, I would say Kanan first. Yeah, buy Lightspeed Bundle and then Relic Krex is definitely the best way I'd go about doing it because they're all old characters. And I'll take that Lightspeed Bundle 10 out of 10 times. But if you don't want to spend money, I get it. I would probably say Kanan. Uh, and then, let's see. Probably Kanan. Kanan, Hera. Sabine, Chopper, Krex. Because really, it's the rest of the team that needs to be uh, that needs to be alive. But Kanan is your tank, and Kanan's also what gives you taking away debuffs. Uh, and so you kind of want him to be able to tank, you know, have have him face tank. Um, so Kanan is why I would say that. But Hera, the reason I say her so early, one, she's a profundity requirement. Two, she's also, if, as long as she's alive, she gives the turn meter whenever they're using special abilities. Loses out on that turn meter if not. Um, your damage is all coming from Sabine and Krex. Krex is usually the last one you do because if he has a good team, he can take out a lot at low gear. Uh, and then Chopper is obviously your person that's going to give you the recovering health and protection as well as the... Or it's just recovering health as well as getting protection up every time they get hurt. And so basically you know Hera and Sabine would probably be my first two if not Kanan um it really just depends on what you want to do just Krex last oh Relic higher first don't <laughs> Relic Relic 5 Hera Relic 7 Krex and then leave the team <laughs> they can do more if you want to but like at that point, if you have a Relic Krex and you just have the rest of the team relic, you'll be able to take out, you know, anything that you need to do. Reva, all that kind of stuff. If you really want to... Uh, thank you. Uh, only Bombardment. <laughs> um, <clears throat> where is the one that we're using? There it is. Uh, but yeah, if you want to, you can take them higher, but I just don't suggest it. I would take Hera up to Relic 5 for the Profundity requirement, but the rest of them, you can if you want to. I don't think it's necessary. Unless you're trying to pull off a Lord Vader counter, I don't think it's going to matter too much. The rest of the teams, it'll all work at the levels that you have them as long as they're all relict. <clears throat> um, okay, so we're taking this against this. Uh, I don't think we need any other ships. We'll just go in with this. Oh, where's our song? Yeah, I was going to say, like, going into it, like, I don't know who I had Relic first. I get them all to gear 12 first, and then probably Relic Kanan, Hera, then Sabine. General Zadana, Commander Sato, Captain Sendula. At last we meet in this theater of war. However briefly, I will start my operations. Yeah, and pull the rebels apart. Dang, no, no crit. That's unfortunate. Come on, crit. No crit. That's two turns without any crit. No That's like unheard of escape. with this character. Escape. There is no escape. Crit. Oh, crit immunity on that character. So that one doesn't even matter. Clear off all buffs. Come on. Give me the. Freaking crit, thank you. Open fire. <laughs> Stomps on skateboard, right, Madness? I should demonstrate my power. I could probably kill both of them with this one hit. Who can I fix up? Uh, let's fix up you. See if we can get some grease banners over everyone else. 70 banners, I'll take it. But the wall will be <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys. 
Um, you guys are gonna have to make this choice for me. I love this song too. Okay, so we have a rebel fleet and we have a first order fleet. Which one would you like to see against this Radis? I think both of them can take it out, no problem. I have less experience with rebels, but I'm down for either, honestly. Endurance, there's no way I'm doing endurance. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I should demonstrate my power. Oh, I'm going to regret this. Uh. I found this whole experience to be very enlightening uh radis is on defense my radis is <laughs> okay everyone vote <laughs> oh gosh Hand crawler in space. Genius. <laughs> this is what I meant about throwing Gax. Oh, the last Gak, we didn't do any of this. We like we got some solid banners last Gak. Okay, Barry. Don't throw all. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any Galactic Republic to go with endurance is the problem, so I'd be throwing it with random ships. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. Ending the poll. Anyone else want to vote to try and change it from the endurance? <laughs> Ending the vote in 10. <laughs> uh, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Yeah, it's a non relic, so it should be fine. Okay. Looks like it's gonna be endurance. Oh gosh. Okay, let's take a look. I love democracy. What would I put with this? Honestly, I think I might do a rebel fleet with this because it'll still be light side. I don't remember what endurance works with. All allies have, so it can be anyone. Unless it's Galactic Republic, then it does better. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it can be used with anyone. You have to use three different factions in the starting lineup. Oh gosh, what is this? 2015? Um, okay, so three factions in the starting lineup. Yeah. Yeah, no, my endurance is garbage. It really is madness. Okay. What other faction do I have access to? These are my two factions that I have access to. Where's your Jawa faction? I mean, if we're gonna only do three people only, like, we gotta do... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that, that, and that. If we're trying to conserve banners. Like. <laughs> 
See, she'll be happy. Start with the set ship? S set. Oh, Sith Empire Trooper? Mine's a four star. <laughs> oh no, that's sorry, that's this one. It's it's six star in Relic 3. It's just garbage. Rebel is a better three man. Okay. You know what you guys spoke? You said endurance. We're gonna try it. I trust we'll go gameplay. I don't know how... It still hurts my soul that I'm using this fleet. Um, <laughs> that's the thing is I left it up to a vote Swago and they wanted me to use endurance. <laughs> Deal damage to target enemy and all other target locked enemies, then grant all allies valor. Okay. If this throws it, I'm blaming it on you guys. For democracy. Okay. Um... We have a song for this. Where is it? Ah, found it. Okay. This party's over. This party, party, party. This party's over. This party, party, party. This party's over. Yeah. This party, party. Okay. This party's over. Not this party. This party. That dodge. That dodge, dude. Oh yeah, we definitely three shipped it, dude. Uh, worth it. Yeah, that 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 dodge, dude. If that dodge hadn't happened, that would have been a win <laughs> because that's the only ship that dealt damage on that team. Uh, we were so close. Okay. Well, it was it was stupid, but you know why not? Okay, let's just go in and destroy it. <laughs> Shame corner for all eternity. Yep. At least for the next five ten minutes. No, no. Okay, you. Enough of your song. Enough of your song. We're gonna go back to old reliable. For the next five GAC streams. You did so ago, but yes, only bombardment roster reviews are still happening. Uh, I'll jump in right after these two battles. We'll just speed run these two battles. Okay.
Uh, I usually go from Discord first, and then chat is last. So if you want priority, you're going to go to the Discord bombardment. Clear out the foresight. No, 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 you don't get to dodge. I'm done. You are not screwing me over with another freaking dodge. I'm not using the Marauder. Gosh. I would cry if I lost that as well. Okay, uh, let's see. Geos, what do we have for Geos? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Overkill, of course. <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> oh, oh gosh uh. mm. let's see where's our Treya song This is not going to work, guys. I don't know what to tell you, but it's just, it, it's not going to work. Oh no, it hurts so much. How dare you, spy? Yeah, uphill battle. I should back up, dude. I, I need to back out just so I don't preload it. We would have had over 1,800 banners. Ugh. Preloaded, uninstall. Okay, we're gonna jump right into our uh, our. Um, roster reviews. Let's see what time is it. Okay, so I've got about 40 minutes before I gotta get off. Maybe closer to 30. I told him 45, and I do wanna take some time. Okay, uh, let's get our music back on. And let's bum rush some, uh, some roster reviews. Uh, Carter, are you still here, Carter? Dude, I... After this week, it has been a long week. I am so excited for Bane tomorrow. You have no idea. Bane is one of my favorite characters in canon. His kit looks cool. I am so incredibly excited to go. I will be streaming tomorrow doing a little bit of testing while we wait for Arnold to uh, do his uh, stuff. Okay, there's Carter. 
I've done, never done Starkiller in 5v5. I've done Starkiller in 3v3 and beat JML. I don't know with 5v5. Because you have an initial ability block that if they can destroy you before you can get out of your ability block, you could be out of luck, cheese balls. So be careful. Sounds good, Madness. You have a great night. Longest week of Conquest. Yeah, I gave up on Conquest. Stopped going for the red crate and just was like, I have the gold crate. I'm good. I am, you know... Saving the rest of my conquest energy just to farm some more uh, datacrons. Like, honestly. Okay, sounds good, Madness. Okay, so Carter. Um, I don't know, honestly. I think both of those would work, cheese balls. I always prefer Cal personally, but, you know, the that Datacron is really nice. Okay, so... This guy just said, Queso means cheese in Spanish. Just got SLKR about a week ago. Just got Starkiller with no materials to spare. I also got Ray and I'm working on Leia and possibly Jedi Cal soon. Just waiting to get Zetas and finish my Starkiller. First things first, that's a lot. Take things one at a time. <laughs> um, oh gosh, I'm dying. It's so hot in my room. You guys need to stop being so sexy. You're making my room too hot. Okay. So you just got SLKR about a week ago. And you just got Star Killer with no materials to spell spare. So let's take a look at your Ooh hoo. It's all due to your feet. Uh okay. <laughs> That's painful to see. Okay. Um got it. So Carter. Um Let's take a look at your mods real quick. You are missing a mod set here, my friend. Sounds good, E-Dude. You're next, so keep that in mind. No materials. Yeah, you have a pretty hard mod fall off already, just two characters in, and you have no mods on your Mara Jade. I would highly suggest working on your mods. Um, and making that kind of a big priority of yours. And I personally would take a break from major farms for a bit. Uh, so I would take some time, like give yourself like two months, get, set yourself a time limit. So that way, you know, it's not something where you're sitting there and you're just like, oh, I just want to move on. You're like, okay, in two months, I will head that direction. Um, so like give yourself a couple months, um, you know, one month, two months, whatever it might be. Finish your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren work on your mods a bit uh and then get your star killer team going um because honestly that right there should be the basis of your teams and you don't want to sleep on just leaving them where they are because you have a lot of good work into them uh star killer is amazing all you need is one omicron to make him absolutely busted he should be relict as soon as possible obviously all your status should go to supreme leader kylo ren and trying to finish him up Uh, but overall, if you need help working on your mods, because your mods are not great, I'll be honest. It might look, you, you might be a pretty new account, but even at this point, you know, uh, I would say you should have a little bit better mods overall. So take a look at my mod farming video. It'll give you a good filter to use, as well as just a good way to not waste your materials overall. So that way your materials will stretch a little bit farther. So go take a look at that video. It'll help you a lot. Um, but work on your mods a bit and kind of focus down some of these farms you already have finished before moving on to your next farm. As for holes in your current stuff that you have, let's take a look. So you're working on your echelon and I love to see that. You have your special forces. Good job. You just started like six months and still learning mods. Yeah, so go take a look at my mod playlist. There's two videos in there. Uh, one is how to mod characters specifically and how to look up, you know, what mods they should be or, you know, how to theory craft yourself. And then the other one is how to farm them efficiently. So go take a look at those two videos. They'll help you a lot, Carter. 
<clears throat> um, okay, so you're, you should have at least some amount of a resistance fleet started. Nice. Make sure you're working on your Star Fortress. This comeuppance does fill in a major hole in your fleets, which is the finalizer can't be malevolent. So this kind of fills that hole. No problem, Carter. I'm glad you'll go check those out. Uh, let's go check. K. K. Sweet. So here's the dealio, my friend. Um, so you said... Let me just double check your plan. So you got SLKR, you got Star Killer, you're possibly, and you're working on Ray right now, and possibly Jedi Cal. Um, so I would take a second before you go for those farms. Uh, I know that Leia can be a PP, and Giant Cal I feel like is a very much a PP for a lot of people. Uh, you don't really have a good spot for Cal right now. Cal doesn't have a good leadership ability, and you need a solid Jedi team to go along with him. So if you're going for JML, I'd say Cal is an excellent farm to go alongside of, but you're gonna need like a Jedi Knight Revan, a Jedi Knight Luke, things like that. Um, so something to think about just overall. Um, so it's def if it's a PP, I get it. Everyone has a little PP and it's fine to have a little PP. We shouldn't be ashamed of that fact. My little PP was I went and got gas even though it was way out of my way. Uh, but you need to be smart about your farm. So if Jedi Knight Cal is your PP, you're going to need to go and get yourself like a Jedi Knight Revan and some Jedi to go along with him. Uh, even if it's just like a Bastila and a Joe Lee and stuff like that to get him a good team solid to start with. Um, but honestly, if I were looking at this account and I was looking for the most efficient way to finish this account, I would focus down your farms right now of what you currently have. Finish up your, you know, SLKR, finish up your Zetas that you need for the teams that you have finish up your star killer uh and then i would go for executor you're really close on the razor crest you're really close just overall to executor push get that executor it'll get you a crystal income and then take a look at it and you can be like oh yeah i can go jml jedi cal or i can go leia anywhere from there is great uh any kind of rebels is gonna fit in this account perfectly but that's that's the thing that i would say is i definitely think finishing up some farms and then executor should be your next two focuses um, as part of your executor, don't forget to relic your dark trooper to go with your imperial troopers that you're going to have. Yeah, I was just looking at your razor crest and I'm like, yeah, you're like, you have, you just have to farm up the IG 2000, uh, and then you just have to farm up the bomber. So yeah, definitely something to work on, something to look at, start farming the bomber ASAP. Dank ideals. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, but if you want to go for Leia, if you want to go for Jedi Knight Cal, go for it. So that, that is just my suggestion. I'm just some weird guy on the internet. Um, but, you know, if, if you're looking at the most efficient way to get this account, like, really uh, popping, you're going to want to finish your farms, fix your mods a bit, and then get that executor. And then from there, you'll be unstoppable. You'll be able to hang out in a rhodium, no problem. You'll be able to start pushing towards any farm that you could possibly want from there. <clears throat> uh, E-Man, are you still here? <laughs> I mean, I'm some random guy on the internet to most people, but Dank, you're hanging outside of my window, so I'm just some random guy in a room you're staring at. Yeah, no problem, Carter. Okay, E-Dude. Stars of the Lightspeed Bundles came out and going for Ray at the moment. Gonna finish Zori, Phoenix, Geo's, Treya. After that, I'm not sure. Baby Sith Empire. Okay, let's take a look at your Lightspeed Bundle farms. Did you get the Ray Lightspeed Bundle? You did. I mean, I would 100% just go for Ray. Get yourself a defensive Galactic Legend so that way you can really take advantage of the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and bring him an offense. Yeah, so honestly, looking at this, if you have a strong desire to get Sith Empire, I get it. Darth Revan, sorry about three, four months ago, and so mods and Zeta port basically. Yeah, no, no problem, dude. Um, 
Yeah, so make sure you're working on your mods. I do want to see your first order officer is faster than your Hux. It's a great little thing that helps with a lot of counters. So definitely something to look at. <clears throat> do I A, go to bed? It's 4 a.m. Or B, prep mods for Malgus and Maul. Hmm. I need to find some mods for Bane, dude. Um, sorry, anyways. First order officer faster than Hux is a really good thing. It can just be one speed faster than Hux, but it helps out with Jabba. It helps out with Proving Grounds. Helps out in a lot of different ways. Uh, E-dude. So definitely something to look at. But keep working on your mods. If you need help with your mods, definitely throw, uh, th just take a look at those videos that I mentioned to the last guy. Uh, throw some time into it Overall if I were to give you one character, I want you to finish right this moment. It's this gear 12 Savage uh, He should be relic ASAP. You've already put the Omicron in him and that is a full team on one person So sounds good dank ideals. You have a great night. Hope you get home safe from my apartment um, So you already have the stuff invested and so you don't want to waste that investment. And so get that Savage up to Relic 5 ASAP. I would say finish that first. And then honestly, if I were looking at this account, I would say go for Ray. Get yourself a defensive Galactic Legend. Get, your some, get yourself something that can, you know, help you in a lot of areas of the game. Which Galactic Legends always can. Um, Zori, Phoenix, Geo, Treya, all great teams in general. Um, but, you know... Something on YouTube about Savage being really good. I was just like, screw it, lol. Yeah, so uh, we didn't use it this uh, this time at all. But here, we'll actually... Create amazing videos with our yeah, guys, create amazing videos. It's going to be uh, Inception here for a second, guys. I apologize for that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so I just used my Relic 5 Savage with the Omicron and the Zeta and just took out this entire CLS team solo. So, like, this is a full team on one character. I use this to take down Grievous. I use this to take down CLS. I use this to take down all kinds of just random teams um, that you see on defense. It's just an amazing solo character. But, yeah. So, I mean... Everyone dies. So yeah, great, great character. Highly suggest finishing that character. So finish Savage. Uh, and then if you want to take the time to finish Zori Phoenix, uh, I would get yourself a, like a, you know, high up there Krex. <laughs> You're welcome, only Bombardment. He's one of the easiest characters to get up to Relic level because he's one of the oldest characters. And so it works out fairly well for you guys. Um, great Omicron that they added to the game. One of my favorites. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, Savage, and then finish Zori, sure. Finish Krex, absolutely. Um, Geos, if your guild needs Geos, do it. It only You only need to give them a gear 12 anyways, so go ahead and do it. But then Treya, I would put off to the side and keep your Savage handy, and wait until you have some more stuff to invest in that team, and I would finish up Ray. Get yourself a Ray going and get that started. Also, keep in mind you are close to Executor. So start working on that TIE Bomber and that kind of stuff, just like the last guy I suggested. The Executor's going to get you a solid crystal income every day because the faster you can get Executors, the faster that you will be number one in your fleet arena, which means 400 crystals daily, which is insane. So, so Geos is just a maybe? Then yeah, I would drop Geos and Treya for now uh, and just drop them out the window completely. And I would go for Executor as soon as you finish your Zori and your Krex. Um, and so get through Ray, and as you're farming those characters, and then as you get Ray, that'll give you the time to farm up the things you need for Executor. Because Executor will be a huge step up for this account. 400 crystals a day will do so much for this account. So that would be my suggestion to you. Keep working on those mods. If you need help, check out the videos. 
Um, but yeah, so Savage, Zori, Krex. And the reason I'm saying in that order is because uh, Zori and Krex can do so much work at low gear. And I've used them in Kyber with low gear. But Savage really needs those relic levels. And so throw them up to relic 5 first. So do Savage, then finish Zori, Krex, Ray, and then go right into uh, Executor at that point. Um, with your resistance, I do want to check and make sure you're not... Okay, here we go. So with Zori, the first thing you need is one Zeta on Finn. The Zeta on Finn is what allows this team to really start doing things. Is what allows the turn meter train. So put the Zeta on Finn first. Um, that I think that should be your next Zeta, honestly. Um, I can look at your first order and make sure. But I'm pretty sure that should be your next Zeta. Yeah, Zetas, Zetas. Which ones do you have on him? One, two, three. Yep. So you should be able to do the, uh, you know, keep working on the ultimate. No problem with what you have currently. So I would honestly put that Finn Zeta on just to make that team start working. Um, Phoenix. Just make sure he's at. Yeah. So yeah. Already. Just throw some mods on these guys. And they'll immediately start working. I will take a. Uh, we'll do the S ult here. Shift Zeta to Finn Zori. Perfect. Uh, if you want the order for that team, uh, the two that are like absolutes for that team, that I'm like, yes, you need these. And also for the uh, for the Ray event, you only need one Zeta, and it's one of Zori's Zetas. So it works out really well for you. So the Finn leader Zeta, do not drop his Omicron. It's territory battles. And then Zori's Spice Runner skills are the two Zetas that you absolutely need. Her other Zeta is also amazing, and it leads to an Omicron really, really great. But it's not absolutely necessary like the other one is. Hey, Web, Welcome, welcome. Uh, and then at that point, if you're looking at Phoenix and you want to drop some stuff, just drop some mods, honestly. I would take Captain Rex at this level that you currently have him at over the relics of any of these characters. And so I would do Hera, uh, Hera, Kane, and Chopper, Sabine, Krex, and just get some mods on them. Get at least Sabine fast or maybe Krex fast, either one, but they need to be able to be somewhat fast. So... <clears throat> But yeah, hopefully that helps kind of give you an idea of what to farm next and also what farms are can, can wait. Not so much that are not good, but can wait. Like Treya is a great farm, don't get me wrong, but it definitely can wait. So, no problem, Wep, no problem. We're just finishing up with some roster reviews. But yeah, hopefully that helps you, dude. We're going to move on to the next person, but... Oh yeah, I forgot to check your fleets. Hold on, let me let me double check your fleets. I didn't know I checked your first order. Okay, you also need your Echelon, your Thai Echelon. We call it the Enchilada here. But the Thai Echelon and the Special Forces Thai Fighter are both things that you need. This allows you to use this fleet to do the Executor counter. And so you'll be able to counter Executors and climb up in your fleet shard. As well as it'll just make this fleet really bumping. And so even before you get your Executor, you can fight your way through the top 50. Maybe into the top 20 if you're really good with this fleet. Uh, if you want to break down of this fleet and to learn how to use it, I do have a video on my channel that completely breaks down how to use the Finalizer and how to use the Executor counter. So go take a look at that if you need to. But this is a fleet you shouldn't be sleeping on. It's fantastic. So get that Echelon. Get that Special Forces. The Echelon will take you a while. Special Forces is just purchasing with raid uh, material. Or not raid. Um, I think you can actually do it with raid as well. Yeah. So yeah, raid materials. And so it'd be raid one currency. Which, I mean, if you're in a 370 million or 270 million, whatever you said, you're going to have no problem getting that stuff. So make sure you're purchasing shards for that Special Forces TIE Fighter. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, besides that, I'm not going to really take a huge look at your fleets. Like you can work on the Radis if you want to, but that executor is kind of, kind of be the big thing for you, which after you finish executor, this is going future, future. And I don't expect you to remember this. Uh, so you can come back for a roster review in like a month or two and we'll go over this again. But the Chimera fleet's really, really good after the Sith Eternal farm or a Sith Eternal executor farm because you get that bomber you get the imperial tie fighter and then just right there you immediately have a another fleet going and so you can start working on this fleet get yourself a tie defender and so on and so forth and do some solid stuff here so don't sleep on that fleet after executor but 
for now, focus down that finalizer fleet, get those last two ships done, and you'll be able to climb your fleet arena shards so hard. Thanks, dude. Hopefully I didn't get too much in detail because, you know, there's a lot ahead of you. This game is definitely a marathon, but yeah. Heck yeah, you even got a doubt, Kron. I'd love to see it. Okay. Uh, Dakota Honaker, thank you for the $5. That's going to go right into the jar, 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 jar. Uh, there it is, right there on screen. Thank you so much. And we will do your uh, yours right now. So you said, just finished Sith Eternal and Executor. Now going to do Ray and Gungans. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, so you just finished Sith Eternal and Executor, which are great farms right in a row. Let's take a look at your Sith Eternal. Where is it right now? Mmm. You know what? Just leave Sith Eternal right here. I think he's perfect. <laughs> uh, anyways. No, keep working on your Sith Eternal, obviously. Savage, Treya. Honestly, Gear 12 Treya is going to put in most of the work that you need. Love seeing the Relic Star Killer. Let's take a look at your mods real quick. I love seeing Mar Jade as number one. 317 isn't bad. I'd like to see her bumped up to 330, but honestly, that's that's not bad whatsoever. Um, let's check your Piet. Also, I would like him up at the 330, but 289 isn't bad. Let's just make sure you don't have a huge fall off. 253. Okay. So not an awful fall off. Just keep working on your mods. Keep working at them. I, I'm curious. Do I see him? Do I see him? I don't see him. Where is he? Where could he be? Uh, I need First Order Officer to be faster than Hux. It's going to be a huge help in so many different ways for you, Dakota. Okay, so you finished Executor. Don't forget, you did. Okay, Relic your Razor Crest. Sick. As for your current farms that you want to do, you want to go to do Ray, which I'm guessing you bought the Resistance Lightspeed Bundles. Yep, solid choice, solid choice. You already have the Zeta that you need to be able to do the Ray event. Now you just need to finish the two characters that you have here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> ADP, thank you for the three dollars and sixty-eight cents to make it an even number. <laughs> what psychopath gave thirty-two cents? Oh, I love that. Um, so uh, it was someone who donated in euros, and so when it switched to dollars, uh, it just you know <laughs> was thirty-two cents. Uh. Yeah, so that's that's why that that was that. <laughs> but thank you for setting the world straight, balanced as all things should be. <clears throat> we will see it update in just a second. We will all enjoy the fact that it changes it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you already have a Finn story team, which I love to see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like it wasn't just some psychopath who was like, "I'm gonna donate five dollars and thirty two cents." No, um, this guy should be fast. This guy should be one of your fastest characters now that you have a Zori team. This guy is part of the reason that it prevents Imperial Troopers from doing anything against this team on defense. So definitely someone to get up on your mods for, for you, Dakota. But honestly, I don't think Ray is a bad farm at all. You have everything for it. Finish that farm. Absolutely. Like, I love that. Um, as for Gungans, Gungans are going to be a hard farm to go for, but your guild is going to love you for it. Uh, it'll be great for the raid. Uh, it might be a great territory war team. There we go. Popping, popping up over there. Perfect. And now we are at the perfect $110. Thank you, ADP, for, uh, fixing that for us. Um. Yeah. So, I don't think that's going to be a bad thing, necessarily. Like, uh, let's just double check and make sure you're not sleeping on any of your currently built teams. Yeah, like, I'd like to see a Relic Dark Trooper here. I would like to see you put Savage at Relic 5. Um, I 
I would like to see a Relict 3 Pock and 3 PO. And just kind of finishing off this CLS team you have. It's one, two, three. I'd also like to see Chewbacca and Han Solo come up to at least Relic 3. Um, so basically, yes, I think Gungans aren't a bad idea. I don't think anyone farming Gungans is going to be an awful idea. Um, especially with where you're at. But like in the meantime, while we're waiting for all those, the Gungans to become farmable, I think I'd take some time and just fill in some holes. Uh, that's that's all I'm really seeing with this is like you have some really solid teams going But you don't ha quite have them all finished. So get yourself a relic set And a relic Bastila get yourself a relic 5 dark trooper that kind of thing But beyond that go for Gungans, dude. If that's your peepee, -pee, that's your peepee -pee. make it a long and hard peepee -pee or a short peepee. -pee. I, I get it Check the boss nas abso freaking lootly Gungan Gungan Oh, you got him seven star. Heck yeah, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, and so if you're willing to spend the money where you're getting Gungans all the way up to seven stars in the first little bit, then yeah, absolutely go for Gungans, dude. Like, if you're a spender, go for it. But I do suggest, as you're working on Gungans and you, as you're waiting for the new ones to come out and that kind of thing, I do suggest filling in a couple of these holes in this account. <clears throat> I do love seeing your first order finished. Uh, this being finished is also a beautiful thing to me. It looks like you're finishing your farms when it comes to fleets, and I love to see it. Um, keep working on your uh, BTLB. It would be a huge help in that fleet. You have your Relic Razor Crest. So, yeah, your fleets are doing solid, dude. I, I'm very impressed by your fleets. Uh, your characters, on the other hand, I think you need to fill in a couple holes. Work on your mods a bit. But overall, doing solid work. And go for those Gungans, dude. Doesn't sound like a bad PP whatsoever, especially if you're willing to spend some money. <clears throat> I'm very curious how good Gungans will be in both Territory Wars and um, Grand Arena. Uh, let's see, because uh, if I recall correctly, Boss Nass specifically, he is... It's his leader ability, isn't it? Yeah. Well, in Territory Wars. So, we have Territory War Omicrons on Boss Nass, and we have Grand Arena Omicrons on Jar Jar Binks. And so, I'm very curious if they're going to be a good team in both, and then as well as good in the raid. So, if that's going to be the case, then it's going to be a fantastic team for anyone to farm up, which I'm very excited for. Plus, it's also Jar Jar Binks, so, you know, screw it and go for it. 500 plus Kairos at the moment. Heck yeah, Dakota. All going to the Gungans. So you're going full in on the Gungans. Heck yeah. But yeah, Ray and Gungans, I don't think bad farm whatsoever. Um, yeah. But when you have a moment, wherever you do have a moment, fill those holes. You do have some holes in your teams. <clears throat> This is the same guy that messaged me before. Can I? Can I? Thank you. What does like have to say? If uh, I'm checking right now, I don't know if it's appropriate or anything, and so I'm pulling it off screen for you guys for a second. <laughs> uh, for the last one, two days ago, he said, your GL guides are elite, apparently. And he then told me to roast his roster. <laughs> I mean, if I have time, I will go through his roster and roast it. But for now, let's finish our guys that we have in Discord. Okay, we got uh, Zarevan next. Okay, I am actually dying from how hot it is inside my room. So hold on, let me open my window. Okay. <clears throat> Zarevan, you said, I'd appreciate a look at my SLKR mods. I think... My offense is low, but not sure if it's too low or relics or the mods. 
Also thinking of doing Sith Trio before Rey. I think I should maybe do Starkiller too. I'll have two more Omis for Trey and Starkiller right now. Okay. Honestly, I will never be like worried about your offense on your uh, SLKR mods because you have a 584 SLKR and that is absolutely insane and it's more important that you have speed than you have offense always on SLKR because the more that he can take turns the more he ramps his damage and so this is not a bad thing to have you know that little of offense on him by any means yes Mr. Revan this is you Yeah, like, honestly, I don't even think I have a single mod set on any of my guys that are 191. I don't know what my top one is. It's probably SLKR, and it's probably less than that. But solid mods, dude. Um, so you're thinking Sith Trio before Ray. Maybe do Star Killer 2. Let's take a look at your Star Killer. Yeah, honestly, I would say you can 100% before you go for Ray, hit Star Killer up. I think that is definitely the best thing you could possibly do. If I ever find a character that deserves a 196, I'll move around mods to do a 196. But right now, none of the characters I have really warrant the fact of having a super, super fast character, so. Wildberry, yeah, he, she doesn't necessarily need that. Um, but yeah, so anyways, sorry, getting distracted. Yeah, Star Killer, absolutely, absolutely, get that Star Killer in here. Uh, especially, you only need one Omicron to get him off the ground. Um, so, 100% something I suggest doing ASAP. I don't like seeing this though. Uh, get some mods on that Mara Jade, Zarevan. He's like, even now, even without Starkiller, you have an Emperor Palpatine. And Emperor Palpatine and Mara Jade can take down basically most things that you're going to run into. That are, you know, just like, you know, you people throw bounty hunters on defense. You're like, oh, that's, you know, Emperor Palpatine, Mara Jade. People throw Geos on defense. You're like, oh, Emperor Palpatine, Mara Jade. They're, they just can destroy everything, so... Sounds good, Sir Revan. But yeah, something to look at. But yeah, Star Killer's you want to get Mara Jade up to 330. But overall, Star Killer, I think, is uh Fair enough, fair enough, Sir Revan. Try to hit that four million and get some proving grounds in here. Absolutely. Solid idea. But yeah, Star I would say definitely Star Killer beforehand. Let's take a look at your Sith overall. If your Sith are somewhat ready, I would say definitely go for them. Um I would say, personally, what I would do is I would do uh, finish your Savage first. So, Relic 5, your Savage. So, sorry, take a step back. Relic 7, your SLKR. Then Relic 5, your Savage. Then work on Star Killer, And then go to Ray. Leave Treya for now. Use Savage as a solo. And then come back to Treya. Uh, a little later because a uh, GL is going to help you and you're closer to the GL with Treya you're gonna have to farm Nihilus and you know you're gonna have to farm Scion if you want Scion uh, it'll be nice to have a place for Talon but Talon goes with Darth Vader just fine and you're gonna be using your EP Mara with Starkiller anyways so that would be my suggestion is to finish relicking your SLKR then Relic Savage uh, and then go full in on Ray, and then you can come back around to Treya if you need to And then at that point, I always will suggest Executor. I don't know how uh, how you're... Yeah, you already have your Razor Crest. Do you, do you have Executor? Yeah, you have Executor. Okay, sweet. So then your option is just basically, do you go for the Rebels with your uh, Rebel Bundle that I'm guessing you got? Yeah. Do you go for your JML? Uh, do you go for your Leia? That kind of stuff? Or do you go for Sith Eternal? Because you're, you're a hop and a skip from Sith Eternal. Like, that's kind of your decision to make. But... For now, I think that that is probably your best bet for getting the most out of your roster right this moment. Side thing. 
I would like to see a Relic 5 Dark Trooper the next time I look at this account. Uh, I wouldn't put it above Ray, but I would put it right after Ray. Uh, it's definitely something that's going to be super, super helpful uh, for swinging up. It'll also make sure you, all, you can always get through Darth Revan without wasting a GL or anything else. <clears throat> okay. Bombardment. You still here? See how much time do I got? I got 15 minutes. Did you know 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance? Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, bombardment. Yeah, no problems, Revan. Okay. I'm wondering what teams to make for GAC defense. <gasps> Current defense for 5v5 is Phasma, First Order, Tie Pilot, Special Forces Tie Pilot, First Order Officer, Executioner, Mando, Not Bam, Grief Carter, Kara, IG 11, Quill. Oof. Akbar, Leia, Farm Boy, Luke Biggs, Wedge, uh, and Phoenix without corrects. Okay, first things first, I want you to swap your Scoundrel team for Dash Rendars as the lead. Um, and if you're not willing to give Dash Rendar to that team, you're going to uh, instead upgrade your BAM to Gear 9 and throw it with that team. Because it's honestly going to be better than Mando, and you're wasting Mando. Mando should be with Bosk, Boba Fett, and Cad Bane with Grief Karga. Uh, Grief Karga's last ability in the event does affect um, Scoundrels, but it does not in the actual game. And so he actually doesn't have any Scoundrel synergy. So either throw Dash as the lead, um, and then throw him with just a couple other random Scoundrels, or level up your Bam and put in a couple Scoundrels. Um, your Phoenix... If you have Phoenix right here, this Krex, get him up to gear 9. That's all you need is gear 8, gear 9. And then the moment you do this, I would take it over any Relic Phoenix. Like 100%. All you need is gear 8. You should be able to do that like today if you have some raid currency lying around. Um, let's see. Other things that you can set up. If you have an extra Zeta lying around do not sleep on the fact that you have resistance uh get yourself a fin zeta and get the zori up to that same gear nine area and you'll have another really solid team it's just fin resistance hero fin resistance hero poe rose and zori and so that's another really solid defensive team you could throw on there and it'll piss everyone off so super solid defensive team um you should relic your Savage ASAP, honestly. But as for just defenses, just switching that out will also increase your offense for the the Scoundrel team because then you have, you know, a Scoundrel team where you're using uh, all Scoundrels and then your Bounty Hunters can work with Bounty Hunters. Um, your Phasma team, I mean, it's a Phasma team, so it's, it's just, you know, it's going to be okay, but not amazing. Uh, but honestly, the Phoenix team and the... Uh, the Phoenix, the Finn team, and that Dash Rendar team, or Bam, whoever you end up using, those three will hold your defense, and then you can afford to throw whatever you want on the other ones. I would swap out Akbar and Wedge, I think it is. Uh, and so have Wedge be the leader. Um, Akbar's lead is just not fantastic. And I much prefer this one. So Rebel Allies have 30% offense, recover 15% max health or 10 and 10% turn meter on a critical hit. And then recover 25% of max health whenever they defeat an ally. So this would be the one that I would use as your leader. Dash is great for offense. You are not wrong, cheese balls. But if he's already using that team on defense, uh, like that is the team he should be going with. So well, he has the Darth Vader Zeta. He has a Darth Revan team. He has a Jedi Knight Revan team. He has a Kylo Ren Mask team that he has on offense. 
So. But yeah, if you're worried, you can always pull a Dash Rendar out and uh, pull him onto offense. You can also just get, upgrade the Savage up to Relic 5, and then you'll have another offensive team. But yeah, that honestly will kind of fix your problems. I don't think pulling Karth out of your defense is really going to matter, because you can use that. Yeah, and then you got Mara, Palps to counter Geos. Yeah, then you're, you're going to be fine. So yeah, you'll you'll be good on offense. That would be my suggestions to you know put some more oomph in your defense. Uh, I also would like to see this Star Killer Relict as soon as possible, uh, but obviously that requires an Omicron. So if I were to take a look at this count and tell you what to you know do immediately, obviously you're trying to go for Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Uh, where am I looking? I'm looking for First Order. Yeah, so you're you're basically there. Sweet. Okay. So yeah. Got it. So you're just waiting on the seven star. Okay. Yeah. So I would relic Savage and then I'd relic Star Killer if I were to give you a order, or relic Savage then finish SLKR then relic Star Killer. One of the two. Just kind of depends on how it works out. But it sounds like you have the time to relic both of those characters. <sighs> But yeah, so hopefully that helps you set up your defenses. Keep working on the echelon. Get those crystals every day. But yeah, hopefully that helps a little bit. I'm not going to go too far into your account just because you were mostly asking about that. And I only have 10 minutes left before I got to get going. Like I should probably get going now just so that way I can take care of some stuff before I'm supposed to hang out front. But hey, I want to give you guys as much time as I can. Baby man, baby man, are you still here? Oh, heck yeah, I'm Bombardment. So you'll have at least one more star for uh, next round of GAC. Okay. Hey, baby man. Working on Relic CLS team, then maybe going for the Revens close to SLKR. Well, then finish SLKR, dude. Screw all the other stuff. SLKR should be the thing you're going for. You're over the limit for Proving Grounds. Get yourself an SLKR and do all the uh, Proving Grounds with him. <clears throat> Let's take a look at your first order. Yeah, so two more Relic levels there, two more Relic levels there. And then let's look at your Emperor Palpatine. Your Palpatine's one Relic level. And then the last one's a Resistance character. And you have your Veteran Smuggler done. Yeah, so like 100%, uh, I love the idea of getting a CLS team, but uh, getting your first GL is going to be huge for this account. So I was just doing that first and just getting yourself an SLKR. You already have an executor, it looks like, which is good to see. Did you relic your Razor Crest? You did relic your Razor Crest. I love to see that. Good job, dude. <clears throat> and are you working on your enchilada? You are working on your enchilada and your special forces. Sweet, dude. Love to see it. And was that first order done? Four stars. How close are you for, from a five-star finalizer? Baby man. One, two, three. Next reset, you'll have five star. Yeah, so I, I love the idea of a CLS team. CLS team is one of my favorites. I love the fact that you already have a six star 3PO and Chewy. Um, Nice thing is 3PO and Chewie's a dark side node, so you can farm him while you're farming SLKR. But overall, I think that'll be the big thing that helps you most in this account is getting your first GL. So finish those last couple of relic levels and finish the SLKR. I don't think any of those are bad farms though. Okay, tomorrow you'll have Chupio done. Sweet. Then find a couple other dark side farms to do. <clears throat> but yeah. Honestly, that's going to be like a big thing for this account. Other side projects that you, I would put above CLS and Revens, honestly, uh, is going to be, uh, I would like to see this Wampa Relict ASAP. Um, having a non-relict Wampa with the Omicron is a little bit painful. Um, there was another one. Oh, yes. Relic your Dark Trooper to Relic 5. Those two, I think, are going to be amazing ones that immediately improve your roster by relicing one character. Um, CLS is not a bad squad. Darth Revan's not a bad squad. Jedi Knight Revan's not a bad squad. But use the stuff you have currently 
before going and grabbing some other stuff is kind of the, the thing that I'm preaching to you. Um, but if, hey, if CLS is your PP, if it's like, I love Luke, Luke is my favorite character in Star Wars, go for CLS. Ignore me. Um, but looking at an efficiency standpoint, the way that I look at it, I would say Wampa, Dark Trooper, and SLK are kind of your next three things that you want to finish as fast as possible. And then at that point, you're open. You can get yourself a CLS if you need more teams, and if you really like CLS, and just go finish that. Uh, and then you have the resistance stuff, so you might as well go for Ray next after that. Uh, and starting with that, you should always get the Fin Zeta first, just so you have a starting team to run with this until you can get yourself a Ray. Relic 7 is such a pain. Yeah, no, I, I get it, dude. I get it. I've been having to, uh, you know, relic a whole bunch of characters recently, and I just had to get a Relic 6 Boba Scion of Django, and I'm about to Relic 7 Bane, and then I have to Relic 7 5 Inquisitors. Like, I get it, dude. It's painful, but it's worth it, trust me. Especially for the ab ability to farm all the Proving Grounds, as well as, you know, just in general having a really solid character for Grand Arena and any other game mode that you happen to be doing. So... Go finish your SLKR. It's painful, I know, but go do it. Um, okay. That's about it for this account. Keep in mind also, um, you are going to be starting to get Interceptor Shards soon uh, if you can figure out the Proving Grounds for it, especially once you get Ray. Uh, and so you'll be getting Interceptor Shards all the time, which means you'll get an Interceptor soon. So don't forget to get a TDC for this fleet. Yes, exactly, Advocat. <laughs> so go, I'm at 7 million GP, and I still feel like Relic 7 sucks. Anyways, uh, I gotta get going. I gotta meet up with a buddy in four minutes, and so I gotta get going. But Advocat and mm, uh, go ahead and take me up on a roster review next stream. Uh, we'll be streaming tomorrow at noon to test out Bane for a bit, and so keep an eye out for that, and then we will be uh, probably doing a small PP stream on Tuesday, uh, and then on Wednesday we will uh, look into getting uh, ourselves into Grand Arena once again. So, looks like we'll have a stream each day for the next three days, so... See, I have all of the materials. It's the signal data that kills me, so go. Like, I, I never run out of materials in a long time for anything but the bronzium wiring and carbonite circuit boards. So, heck yeah, bombardment. That's what I like to see. <clears throat> but yeah, awesome. You guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining us during this much more chill and drawn out stream because I just wanted to relax. And thanks for, you know, hanging out with me, guys. Um, do I replace Ezra? Yeah, you, you replace Ezra. Uh, awesome. You guys have a great night, and I 